Sorry, chat. How's the sound? Lay it on me. The music stopped. Alright, it's starting again. How's the sound? What do you mean, good? The, the music the music wasn't even on when I... How's the sound compared to me now? Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. I, wonder what, I wonder what she's saying. It's still fine? Alright, good. Alright. You ready? Are we ready, kids? Say pizza, pizza. Hi, Captain. I can't hear you. It's time to spin the wheel. All right, here we go. Spin the wheel. It didn't show up. It did show up. All right, time to spin the wheel. All right, which which sentinel is the best sentinel? I have it all ready. I'm, I'm, there's at least 15 sentinels. And then there's sentinel, I, I'm guessing there's an even number of sentinels. So we're up to 16 sentinels, all right? There are, that's my guess, 16 sentinels plus Eric, all right? So we're gonna spin and we're gonna see which sentinel is, is the best sentinel. Here we go, here we go, we're spinning. Who is the worst sentinel? Right off the bat, number two is, is the worst sentinel, apparently. Worst sentinel number two. Woo, all right, here we go. All right, who's second worst is Sensil number 15. Get fucked, Iori. Get fucked. All right, so she's the second worst. All right, done. Done. Get the hell out of here. All right. Third worst. Number one is not number one. Not even close. Number one is actually number 14. Get the hell out of here, number one. All right. Get the hell out of here, number one. Who is gonna be best sentinel? Number 11. That's my favorite number sometimes. All right, number 11 is out of here. All right. No context for whoever the fuck these are, but here we go. Eric is still in it to win it. All right. Six is out of here. Ooh, oh, oh. Six, of course, the fan favorite. Six is out of here. All right. What is happening? We're spinning the wheel for who is the best Sentinel. 14. 14. Is there even a 14 Sentinel? I don't know. 14's out of here. All right. All right. You know what? We've got some strong contenders left on the wheel. All right. Secret 14 Sentinel. We already know there's at least 15 Sentinels. Number four. Oh, number four is out of here. Number four. Who who would number four be? Number four would be like left to right would be like um, the white head white hair girl here. Number four. I don't know if the, those match, but that's it. Number four. All right, let's spin. Spin to win. Eric is still in. Three. Oh, ten. Ten. Oh, I don't believe it. Ten is out of here. 10 is out. All right. Oh, Eric, no, Eric Dodge. Oh, oh that was close. 13. 13 is gone. All right, so in the running is 3, 9, 16, 7, 12, 8, 5, and Eric. All right, who is out of here? Number five. It's number five. Number five. Number five is gone. All right. Five is out of here. Who is best sentinel? Eric is safe. Twelve. Twelve is gone. All right. Here we go. Nine, sixteen, eight, three, and seven. And Eric. Seven. Seven. Seven is gone. Seven is a good number. Seven is a good number. All right, let's go. Oh no! Eric, no! Oh! Eric is out! Eric struck down in his prime. All right. 
Best Sentinels, 16, 9, 8, and 3. Nine is gone. Nine is gone. Or maybe it's an upside down six. All right, 16, eight, and three. Who is the best Sentinel? Sixteen. Sixteen is gone. Get the hell out of here, 16. Who is the worst Sentinel again? All right, so it's, here it is, the finale. Three and eight. And you know what? The little pointer thing is like almost exactly on the line. So this is a really fair spin. All right. Three and eight. Who is best sentinel? Eight. Eight is the best sentinel. Congratulations, eight. I have no idea who that is. Eight, eight is the best sentinel. All right, and who is the worst one again? Who was the first one eliminated? I can't remember. Two? Two was the first one? All right, there you go. Eight is best sentinel and, and, is, also, and is the waifu of chat. All right. I quite like this song. It's pretty catchy, I'm not gonna lie. I have my windows set up. I have Dragon Stand open at the same time on the 13 spoilers, uh, 13 Sentinel spoiler chat. Gotta keep that open. How did we lose so many people when the wheel went off the screen? Woo! If, if we if we keep if we just keep the wheel in the top left corner, are we just is it just like a like a, a buff to the whole stream forever? All right. Just keep a looping web. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like I wonder if it would work. Oh, anyway, all right, here we go. Let me say thank you to people and then we're gonna get started. The bamboozle today is that there is no bamboozle. We're just getting straight into it. No bullshit, no Hatsumi Miyuki, no like pre-recorded, no like, oh, here's Nirvana Institute, here's Steins Gate, nothing. We're just getting right into it. We're just doing it. No fan we never do fan art on a, on the start of a new game. Or we very rarely do fan art at the start of a new game. No Resident Evil 4 Nope, no bamboozle. The bamboozle is there's no bamboozle. Do, 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 do. Unless. Unless. Do, 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 do. Thank you to for the subs and resubs from Pepperdew, Cinnamander, Alum, Aluminium, Lisa, Lisa2. Nemphalem. Is that what they're called in Diablo 4? Pandorino753. The song is actually kind of loud for me. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Giga17 for gifting out a sub. She beat. Thank you for the resub. Kappa Calculus also for the resub. Both of these, both of these nuts. Damn, the double bofa. Hydus for gifting out five subs. Thank you very much. Thank you, and Yashi for the resub. 
I on site or I in sight for the resub as well. Smokerin. <laughs> Smokerin. <laughs> Is that his weed name? <laughs> Thank you. For <laughs> Thank you very much for the new sub. Welcome, Smokerin. Also, to, thank you to Laurel's Creek for the new sub. Thank you, Mr. Du Bois, for gifting out five subs. Appalling Guy for gifting out a sub as well. Thank you to Me Mutes Akihiko for the resub. Also, thank you to Fluxwave310. <sighs> Daddy's Jizzies. How do you get me to say your name so often? Chud2112. Foxen for giving gifting out a sub. Daddy's Jizzies for gifting out a sub. Zorgrox for the bits. High Lord 6441 for the resub. Vindenak for the resub. Dastare for the resub as well. I close your door. Interesting name. Also resub. Thank you also to Pilko718. Kenna Kur Kurama. Sorry for mispronouncing that. It's ALR. Barnes GP. Mr. Klondike Guy. It's Matthew McCarter. All for the resubs. Thank you to Taylor Kennedy for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you to a Pepsi Addict for gifting out a sub. Relatedly, Peppy91 resubbed. Peppy and Pepsi, they go together. Thank you also to Amagat, Last Isis, Dor. Dor Emiart? Hopefully that's somewhat close. Northwood111, Nuclear Plums. Nuclear. Both of these, both of these nuts again, gifting out a sub. And the last. Three on my list are Gladius762, thank you. Thank you also to Rinson and Dalmec. For, ah, uh, for fuck's sake. I'm doing it. Thank you, Dalmec, for gifting a sub to Bill Nye. The cream pie guy. Thank you. The base bill has blessed this 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 playthrough. We have the blessings of Bill Nye the cream pie guy. This playthrough will now <laughs> this this playthrough will now be cream. <laughs> cream of the pie. <laughs> oh, and thank you to uh, Bocata di Churro. Chorizo Vigiano? Hopefully that's somewhere somewhere correct. Forgetting a sub to Alexel Calpo. I think I know who that is. Oh, and also Serepidus has just resubscribed as well. Thank you, Serepidus. Or Serepius? Serepius? Alright. We're gonna start. Here we go. I repeat. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north towards Kasimicho, destroying everything in its path. Who's Kasimicho? A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. <laughs> Why? Thirteen Sentinels in March. It's true. It's really happening. We did it. We got it done Just in March. Said. Just as you said. Who said? A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. Pacific Rim. So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. Our fate was sealed a long time ago. Yep. Yeah, let's let's auto save. This time we're turning it on. All right. Say the line, Yuri. 
What's G2 mean? Am I inside the robot? <laughs> what the? Where did my clothes go? <laughs> Warning. Dino signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Wait, hold on. Why is it like auto going through it now? I don't want that. I want to I want to be able to hit the button. Auto advance way? That is it. I turn that on. Turn it off, right? All right, anything else I need to turn on or off? Character intro. A splash image is displayed when beginning a protagonist story. A protagonist, okay. Tilt shift effect. All right, leave on. No, I like hitting the button, because what if I want to riff? All right, here we go. It is it is so hard to take the an anime girl being like in a authoritative like oh I understand like oh tactical analysis initiating thing. It's so cringe. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> Sakakun. <laughs> Goto Senpai, what are you? Goto Senpai? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Yeah, why? Why are you in the wrong Sentinel? Idiot. Senpai, <laughs> are you like Akun too? Did you come from the future? <laughs> Fucking time traveling Senpai. <laughs> what the fuck? We can discuss that later. <sighs> of course, no, let's do it right now. Do you understand the situation we're in? That area is under attack by D forces. <laughs> what, the <laughs> what the fuck is a D force? I came here to fight. Like, yeah. But I don't know how to control any of this. Wait, how, how do you, how did you know to do the thing then? Like, why is... And this robot's not making a peep. What do you mean? It's been talking the whole time. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. All right. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. T true, yeah. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. That's why you're naked. Trying to direct it. You can do it. Like this? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it moved! But now my head feels weird. It's like scratchy or something. That's the link system of the nano machines inside your brain. Whoa, you have a brain? You'll also have a direct feed of information from the sentinel sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just have to get used to it as you fight. Uh, uh all right. Can you move? D the, wait, there was no training? Like, I don't, what, what the, what the fuck is this? Just like, oh, next kaiju attack, just make sure that you like run into the street and fucking rub your thigh suggestively while I look on from the crowd. Like, you know, I'll be there, don't worry. And then we'll just like, just go through it live? Like, what the fuck is- Yes, I can walk, Senpai. <laughs> They're coming closer. I keep getting these pop-ups in the way when I try to look around. Oh, get I get I block in. That's your equipment interface. Oh, okay, not ad block. All right. Use that to neutralize the D forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how this? Tutorial attack to control your pilots. Move the cursor over pilot and select with X. Once the menu is open, press X to select action and destroy the enemy using arm-mounted machine cannons. <laughs> Battle start. Oh, th this is this is well, this is the battle. All right, I, X. All right, now action. Arm mounted machine cannon attacks kaiju within target area in front of the sentinel with machine cannons. Okay. What the hell is that? D Demos. That's the D force. That's not a kaiju. That's a fucking robot. What what are those? There are kaiju robots? Please hit. It 
Alright, so it's got an AoE spread depending on where you target, okay. Alright. Slow down. Different combat situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket launchers. Okay, I'm getting some really big uh Paper Mario Origami King vibes. What? 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 There's no button, you idiot. You use your mind. I, how? Why were you picked for this? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. Yep. My shoulders. Is this how I do it? <laughs> select. <laughs> select action to destroy them using multi rocket launchers. All right. Adjust the attack range with L to target as many enemies as possible. Okay. Multi rocket launchers. What's EP? Energy points or something? Fires multiple rocket launchers in target area. POW 150 times a WT7 seconds? Is that the retry? I don't know what this means. I'm guessing he's going to explain it to me though. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's so many! What the hell? Okay, can I fire it where there's, where there's no target? No, it won't let me. All right. Yes. I'm okay. I got him. Are you a cocoon? Can you evacuate? Uh, I mean, it might be an elephant saxophone. I'm not sure. A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. Uh oh. What? Where? Oh no. Sentinels. Another sentinel's been transmitted behind you for you, Sakakun. But who is it? Wait, it's not you? This is Sentinel number 13. Is it This is the same person, isn't it? Just without glasses? No, we mean no! Karabe. Moving to cover Fuyasaka-san. Karabe, what are you doing here? Why are you talking to yourself? I can't let this turn out like Sector 3. Izumi? No. There's no way his memory could have returned. <laughs> I remember doing this in my dreams. I think I can do this. Wait until we call for backup, Izumi. Yeah. Select action, then select heavy knuckles. Use L to attack the enemies in front of you while moving around. G Molar. Can't mess this up. Attacks a ground kaiju two times with Sentinel's giant fists. Did we do it? Yay! We got 305 points out of 6,000. Me? Jiro Karabi's story is now available. Okay.
That was uh That was weird. Okay. Um thank you Ryoder55 for the resub. Thank you, Zardak, for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you, ETAP8 for the resub. Bluish158 for the, for the new sub. Welcome. Galuth for the resub. And Smokerin again for uh, gifting out a sub. Thank you, Smokerin. All right. Sure. The story of Juro Karabi. A few days ago, Sakura High School Class 1B, May 1985. Oh, wait, what? 1985. This again. Let's see where I was born. What is going on? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shibakun. Basic controls. Use L to move and press X to talk to, talk to people. Okay, so believe it or not, this is um who makes this game? Vanillaware. This this is not the first vanilla game I've played. Uh, I have actually played Odin Sphere. Uh, I didn't play for very long. I didn't really like it all that much. Um, I bounced off it pretty hard, but I've actually played Odin Sphere. I have it. It's it's over in my in my game shelf. Uh, I don't know why I have it. Um, someone recommended it to me, I think. And uh, remake original, the original. I have the original. Um, I've played it. I thought it was uh, it was it was kind of bad, but maybe uh, the gameplay wise it was kind of bad. Um, but yeah, I didn't I didn't really enjoy it. Um, but I, so I have played a game by them before. Uh, but I have to say, even though I didn't really enjoy Odin Sphere, like, the art was gorgeous, and the art is gorgeous in this too. Like, this is very visually appealing to me. I really like this art style. It looks really, really good. Oh, we can just kind of, like, walk through desks, though. Never mind. Oh, and people. Squeak. Squeak. Is this Yori? Yuta Shiba. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. Oh, like you're stuck in like a time loop? Yeah. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. Hmm. You've seen too many movies, man. Yep. Yuta Shiba has been added to the thought cloud. <laughs> Thought cloud. Sometimes when you learn about a specific person or thing, it will be added as a keyword. Press triangle to open the thought cloud to select and contemplate keywords. Consider. Shiba Kun's a bit of a class clown. Okay. But he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Is he the one with the cat? Shiba Kun's a bit of a class, but he's a good. Man, this guy just loves thinking about Kyoto Shiba. Shiba Kun's a bit of a clut. Okay, circle to get out of it. All right. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. What movie is it? Already, I just lent it to you yesterday. And I already watched it twice. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots fights in the city. I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> You sure love Mecca, don't you, Jiro? Videotape has been added to the Thought Cloud. Thought Cloud, some keywords can be used on other characters. When this option is available, triangle will appear above their head. All right, that's good to know. All right, let's talk about what What if I like think about the videotape all by myself? Oh, he has it! Kutashiba. Kutashiba. Videotape. If you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> do you think it's too much? Zack, which Godzilla movie do you think is the best? 
I know it's a bad take, but I'm a little partial to the uh, to the uh, Americanized version that came out in the early 2000s. I know it's not a great movie and it's not my favorite anymore, but it was the one that introduced me to the concept and to the series, so it holds a good place in my heart. Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing this stuff in my dreams too. Yep, definite movie addiction. Mm -hmm. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <sighs> is this what we're doing, game? Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen a movie about that. Oh yeah, what is it? Hold circle to move faster. Yo, oh, it is her! It is Ayori! Say the line here, Ayori. Fuyusaka-san's asleep again. Based. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday... Someone was woken up. It didn't go well. The girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Wait, did he just say movie or dream? Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? That one video. Really? Yep. Gonna rent it? No. I've got to. Uh, I, I, sorry, yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, no, you want to rent it too? Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Uh oh no 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 he, he's gonna rent it first it's always something isn't it guess I'll wait here wonder what he's up to elephant saxophone that movie's a hidden gem how do you know you haven't seen it yet it's tough to get a hold of these days what, what are you talking about redditor the hidden gem that movie's a hit it's tough to get she always seems to be sleeping it's odd it's called narcolepsy and then she shows up in my dreams. Oh. I can't help but be a little curious about her. <laughs> she becomes a but he's Okay, so there's no sign above her head, so there's no triangle I can use on her, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, Fuyusaka san. Rise and shine. Huh? Got some drool on your mouth, love. Class is already over. Kurabe kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I. I had another weird dream. Anyone else think that he sounds like he's talking through a pipe? Like, he's permanently, like, the clown in the sewer saying, come down here, or whatever. Like, like what the, what the fuck? Like, she sounds normal. He's, like, talking through a fucking pipe. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well... Oh, he sounded normal there. Dude! Dude, I went through the video. Huh? This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. Nah, it's nothing like that. She's gross. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It isn't? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. Oh. Uh, Sorry for you, Saka-san. He's being blushy-crushy. Standing awfully close there, bud. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> Okay, now that I've said the pipeline, he sounds completely normal to me. Never mind, maybe I was crazy. Yeah. I'm going home now. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold. <gasps> what? I know I shouldn't tease you like that, but it's your hey, fault I'm for sorry. keeping I'll secrets from me. But seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy in quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is... Sucky thing? He's never around unless you make plans. Everyone's training hard with their teams. Who the, supporting one another. Who the fuck are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Hello, Sentinel. Who the fuck are you talking to?
All right, let's give a dissertation on how to be a weeb. All right. Why is everyone just hanging around after class? Why doesn't everyone just immediately go out, like, walking home doing drugs? This is so weird. What's on the top right? Why is there a green and a red? Does that mean that there's like a conversation? Oh, he has a he has a thing. Is there another one unlocked in the scene? Okay, consider or use it. All right, let's consider. Tanya Yuji not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. Sounds like a Chad. On top of that, his family is rich. Okay. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. He's the bad guy for sure. He he's the one that's making the uh, the the mechs and the and the kaiju to get the girls. You know, Amiguchi Kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right. He was there during break too. The square hole. Okay. Oh. kun Hey, Kurabi kun Oh, how do you want me to perform this character? Breathless and kind of passively turned on the whole time? Yeah, that's my usual. Okay, here I go. <sighs> Karabi kun What is it, Sawatari san? Those papers in the podium. Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh. Is it? The papers are on the podium. The papers are on the podium. Amiguchi Kun's not he's smart on top okay, of Okay, sorry, I keep he's thinking triangle will will we'll, we'll take it away and it doesn't. Alright, so there's nothing in the top right anymore, so I feel like I've seen all the all the stuff now. The paper I know. On the podium, right? <laughs> Oh, that wasn't. Oh, so if you talk to people more than uh, enough, like suddenly it interrupts. Let's head to the grab your stuff. Let's head to the grab your stuff. Let's head grab your stuff. Let's head grab your stuff. All right, he's red now. I can't Let's talk to you. Stuff. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. Whoa! Okay, never mind. Okay. Okay, I can't use these. Why is it red now? Alright, stack of paper. So I have to do something. Okay. Sorry. I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Additional controls. Hold R1 to fast forward text. Fast forwarding will automatically pause on unread text. Oh no. Is this another fucking morbing game chat? Why 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 would I ever be in a situation? <sighs> Maybe it's if you accidentally talk to someone or something. Alright, press press the thing to view the text log. Press the options to pause when you stuff manually to view the controls. Yeah, I I, I know. Alright. Can I hit it and, and hear it again? Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. Y yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah. All right, exit classroom. Can I exit this side? Because that's where I already left. I can. All right, cool. Where to? Nurse's office. Oh, okay. I'll go to the nurse's office. Sakura High School Excuse nurse's me. office. She's not here. D 
do 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 Thank you, Satan Zero for the resub. Thank you, Pepperdew for the resub. Thank you, Dima three two 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 eight for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you, Wasabi five five four for the new sub as well. Thank you, Roxy Sparkle Jugs. What for the for the new sub? Welcome, Roxy Sparkle Jugs. Thank you to Min Galeg. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Thank you for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you for to Drew stuff for gifting out five subs. And thank you to Nutsack Aladdin. What are you all doing today with these names? Thank you, Nutsack Aladdin, for resubscribing. All right, where do I find this this nursens? Let's just say no and leave. Examine. What should I do with these papers? Just leave them here. Can I just leave them here? Yeah, just leave them and walk out. <clears throat> There's a document with my picture on it. Uh-oh. What is this? I'll just take a peek. Juro... Izumi? Izumi? It's my photo, but... The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. It's just some guy who looks like you. We already went through this earlier, remember? <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Ooh. Drugs, huh? What? <laughs> oh, Kurabe-kun. Well, hello there. Oh my god. <laughs> Miss Morimura. What brings you here? I have two reasons to be here. I think you forgot these. There you go. Oh my. You brought them back for me? Her voice sounds familiar. I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Karabe kun What? Thank you. I appreciate the help. shiba -kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Are you a sentinel? Oh, one more thing. <laughs> I swear to God, she just turned boobs first. <laughs> Karabe kun Yeah? How was your current condition? What condition? Condition has been added. Okay. My condition. You know, any heart palpitations, dizziness, headaches. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cult going around. Yeah. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Was there something else you needed? Miss Morimura? Have you seen Amiguchi-kun anywhere? Amiguchi-kun? The first year? I just made my rounds, but... I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. Alright, I like you. I hope you're in a lot of scenes. Well, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. All right, we gotta rent that one video. Come on. Same day, heading home. Kiyaki Cho Shopping District. <sighs> all right, is it, we gonna go in this in the Sentinel now? Something wrong? Mm, he couldn't catch Amiguchi. 
the video store was a waste of time. Oh, we already did that. Okay. It sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out, but we didn't come back empty-handed. Okay, now he sounds like he's in a pipe again. What? That old ass kaiju flick? Dimos versus Mecha Dimos. Uh, it's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. COVID recording? Why is he the only one that sounds like that then? Guess what was on there? The original Dimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? Ooh. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Okay, is that... Is that a real movie? It's not, right? Basically Godzilla. Okay, that's that's what that's what I figure. Okay. The Sentinel isn't responding. Oh no! The activation. I know I did it right. Ooh. I want it to start. Ooh. You know this guy? Why do you have bandages for socks? What what are you doing, bruv? Miura-kun. Who the hell are you? Sure, uh, kun What's wrong? Is everything alright? You look awful. Oh, good luck with that. Do 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 oh, I have to do it, okay. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. There's a cold going around. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but <laughs> Okay, so his 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 thing is like on his forehead and he just and he just what? Like is that why he wears a hat? Or or is it does he have a mark there because he's been trying to get into it so much that he's like like rubbed the skin away from like like doing it over and over and over and over again. You shouldn't touch it. Okay. What the? My hand's lighting up too. Oh no, it's spreading. No. What's going on? This is bad. This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. Oh, someone just died. He summoned a sentinel. Wait, it looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Send that thing back. I did that? Well, that's your reaction? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. What the fuck is going on? Well, this'll be interesting. Who are you? Are you... Nikito? What? You leave me no choice. What? I'm gonna need you to forget about this. For okay, now. are you just like schoolyard fucking vibing, or is this? Shiba -kun? <laughs> Mystery files obtained. Eight events. Archives obtained four. Okay, it's not doing anything. All right, progress eleven. All right, we're that we're we're eleven percent done the game already. Oh, that's that's, that's that we're gonna be done today. All right. Are already for you for you Saka's story is now available. Great. All right, are we gonna like when we leave the classroom? All right, here we go. Oh, she's running with some breakfast in her mouth. Oh, that's so adorable and not gross at all. Damn, I want to marry her now. I can't believe I slept through my alarm. Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep. Almost there. Ow. 
Nice. Hey, you all right? Okay. Guess that's a yes. Mm -hmm. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Okay, isn't this who we just were, but like with lighter hair? Uh, sorry. Who the are you? Huh? Who the fuck are you? Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly. Oh. An uncanny resemblance. All right, done. Huh? Did she drop this? A student ID. Student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. Oh, there's the cat. Okay, that guy, he looks like the other guy, just with different, different hair. Is it just like this art style has similar faces for some of the guys? The other two guys. The, in the last scene that we were in before the Sentinel got summoned, those three people looked really different, but so far there's been like three male characters that look very similar to me. What are your thoughts on the visuals of this game so far? I really like them. The visuals are, are, are really, really good. Duh. You slept through the whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. Okay, so is this like the first day of class? Or new student? Or. And I'm. Fuyusaka san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Alright, remember that shot. And yet, the upskirt and the, like, the fucking, like, rub your thigh to get into the sentinel. Alright, cool. Thank you so much. Your chance, my good friend. She's gentle, kind, Loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Who isn't shy with boys? You a chance my good loves talk. Nice to meet you. You too, Kisaragi san. Call me Usami. Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. Uh... In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Miwaka? Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Whoa! Glass houses, girl! Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? I didn't. Oh, uh, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Yeah, she didn't. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan? Yeah? You and Goto Senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Is he? Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh, don't worry. He's not my type. Okay, so you're for the future too. Just an acquaintance. All right. I see. Okay, this is a different classroom than the one we were in. It's similar in perspective, but it's definitely different. The podium's different. All right. Huh? Your forehead is red. Yeah, because we're sleeping on the desk. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um. I kind of bumped into someone. 
Now the rest of your face is red. Ooh. Huh? Yeah, you saw my panties. I wonder why. Oh, you're wearing panties? How scandalous. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. <sighs> really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. Cute guy has been into Thought Cloud. Let's think about cute guy. What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Cute guy. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Wait, hold on. I thought this was the same day. Is it not? I, I didn't I didn't pay attention to the time thing. All right, never Crepes? mind. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. I love crepes. You it's sure not the same room. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize this was the end of the school day. I thought this was like earlier in the school day and we were a different classroom. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just I keep having strange dreams. Keep, I keep blacking out and making origami. You keep me up at night. Yeah. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night I was surrounded by flames like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. Old building. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. What? You don't see that every day. Like, lights hanging from the ceiling, you mean? Like, that are in the scene right now, or... Something else. This school is so old, you don't Shit, see sorry, I keep pressing triangle by accident. Instead of, like, fluorescent, like, tube ones? Isn't your class next door, Nachan? Nachan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I love you and all you guys. Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year, but I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Minami-san, there you are. Ooh, here's all the sentinel. What's going on right now? Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. No, really? Really? Where? Yeah, I'm so so interested. Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. <sighs> yeah, I'm leaving. With a white belly, right? Right. You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. Man, a cat. No fair, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> so it's behind the science room, huh? <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna go looking. <laughs> hmm. Guess that nap 
did her some good. It was a cat nap. Break time, Sakura High School, Old Building Passageway. Oh, okay, so, oh, so school's not done. Or, I, I actually, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Is it right there? So I'm pointing. Oh. Yeah, there we go, yeah. I found you. Hi, kitty. Man, I'm so good at this game. Amaguchi is the one that, that is rich and has all the video games. All right. We have something here. Okay, chat. I am struggling so hard to remember everyone's name. Okay, I'm, I'm like, like the names. I, I, I can't keep track of the names. I'm sorry. I, I'll see. Like, I'm gonna forget. All right. I'm just like warning you all. I'm gonna forget a shit ton of the names, and you're just gonna have to like put up with me like stumbling over the names for a bit. All right. Like, there's so many names. Amaguchi kun. Amaguchi kun. All right. So Amaguchi kun, like, has the the Joker hair, but lighter. Wait, what's going on right now? This isn't like you. Oh. Just listen, okay? Oh, okay. This is a first for me too. Uh, you feel it, right? Yeah. <sighs> oh. I want to pursue this with you, please. I don't know. It's just. And they were roommates. Huh. Fuyasaka-san. What is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. You guys European? I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. Wait, there was a triangle I could have done in this scene. I didn't get it. Shit. Oh, now we're back. Alright. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> <laughs> That's rich. As rich as me, because I have all the video games. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. All right, what was it? Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Yeah, gay dreams. Dreams? Yeah. Strange dreams has been added to the thought cloud. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. <sighs> Whenever I think my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. Oh, that was a different one. If I said one. that, would he laugh at me? Okay, you've known this guy for like five seconds. So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. Oh, alright. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is... Same goes for this guy. Well, which guy's that? It's like we're seeing the same stuff. Hmm. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. All right. So what's going on here? Makes you think our dreams are connected. Yeah. So I know there's time travel. I don't even really know what happened at the end of the prologue there with that guy saying, I need you to forget. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Um... Maybe there is something like morbing and like like the, the more that they keep traveling through time, the more the memories are getting jumbled in with dreams and shit. Like, hmm. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. Yeah, probably. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. All right. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know if this is typical anime bullshit, or if, like, the dreams are so strong that it is justifying this, like, hey, we're dreaming, let's make dream notes. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? No. Well... Actually, I have dreams too. I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Cause I thought you guys were gay. Hmm, class is starting. 
Dream Diaries are a thing. Do yeah, I know Dream Diaries are a thing. I've kept one myself. But having communal dream comparisons, I think our dreams mean something. Let's keep a note because I think maybe we're telepathic is a whole other fucking thing. Like, come on, man. We can talk more later. Oh, uh, is this is how it's gonna be? Okay, I know, and this is how it's gonna be now. Like. Like, any single, like, even mild, like, like, glancing blow that could be possibly interpreted as criticism when it's just me thinking out loud is gonna be, But this thing exists! This, this objective thing exists, and because I can point to this crumb of something that exists in the real world, it justifies this behavior right now. Oh, so you don't like that there was an upskirt shot when she fell over her skirt? Don't you know that sometimes girls wear skirts, Joe? And sometimes girls wearing skirts bump into people? And sometimes after they bump into people, they fall down. What are you expecting? The laws of physics to just make it so that th there's not going to be an upskirt shot? Sometimes people fall down. Sometimes panties are visible. Sorry that you're just finding out about panties and panties exist, Joe. Wow. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Oh, that was a prologue too. Okay, so are we gonna be jumping between the different characters and like prologue and then we're gonna see them all in, in different stages? Cause I like that, that's kinda cool. All right, mystery file, I wanna see the mystery files. How do I see the mystery files? I like mystery files. Episode, beginning of the end. Episode one, episode two, wave. Oh, there's gonna be a thousand waves? All right, manual. All right, story. Oh, is this a scanned version of like what, what the manual would be if it was actually in a book? Okay, I think, yeah, okay, it was a short manual, very cool. Okay, now we're back here again. May 27th, 4.32 p.m. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I got in this robot and... Oh, good. Looks like you're okay. <laughs> Kurabe kun Also G2. Fuyasaka-san. Everything you said came true. We got kaiju everywhere, right? I think I prefer my kaiju to stay on the silver screen. <sighs> Looks like there's more on the way. Can you get your sentinel up? Okay, I was expecting I was expecting the flashback we got into to lead back here. But it didn't. So like we're gonna be jumping around uh the chronology? Because I really like when the stories do that. Let's see if it happens again. Maybe this is the only time it happens. I'll try, but I think it might be broken in some places. Yeah, the rear exhaust. You're in a second generation sentinel. It weighs around twenty two hundred tons. With that kind of weight. It can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. Collapses? That big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Useless? Damn. Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. D-forces? You keep talking about them like that. What are these D-forces? Your useless sentinel collapse. Dimos. They're the kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. Mainframe? Terminal? If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. What? But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. W what does that mean? Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D-forces would be completely locked out. That's gotta be the Aegis system Miss Morimura was talking about. The nurse? But is it even safe to use? Woo -woo! We're only using it to buy time. <laughs> How do we activate it? Wait, why is the nurse involved? <laughs> Yes, the terminal sits directly below that point. What terminal? Make your way toward the terminal, which is the invader's target. Choose a sensor and select move from the menu. 
press use the L to move the cursor to where you want to go. Then press X to start moving. All right, let's let's move. Like we're we're not injured, so let's let's do that one. All right, move, defend, charge, EP. Okay, move. All right, we're moving here. Oh, we can only move along the um the streets. Oh shit! Like it's like. Oh hold on. What if I go the long way? The long way. Number 13. Number 15. Oh! Oh, he's coming back. Ooh. You made it. That's where you send the signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No, it won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Just, just some after-school club or something? Like, what is this? Warning. Dimos signatures identified. Enemy in range. Is it Dimos or Demos? Make a decision game. Stick to it. Thank you, P. More Mister, for the. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. <laughs> Fucking hell! I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it. It's it's P. M. O. R. M. R. Pomormer. Maybe that's the other way to do it. Uh, thank you, Fatoshi Shimano, for gifting a sub out to Big Boobies. Thank you for that, Shimano. I knew there were going to be some Big Boobies. Thank you, Naughty One, for the resub. Thank you to Gherkins10 for the resub as well. And thank you to I am 1000 also for the resub. Oh, Mr. Kurai just resubbed as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Kurai. Tutorial lost condition. You must protect the terminal until the self-defense system Aegis is activated. So we just keep them on the rim of the Aegis. Damage to the terminal is shown on the top left of the screen. Alright, that's the big bar, the defense 100%. If this defense gauge is depleted, or if even one of your pilots dies, it's game over. Okay, some really big Into the Breach vibes. Did that have to try and have as well? Tutorial, switching pilots. You can switch the pilots you control with the D-pad, change up pilots depending on the situation. What do you mean? All right, can I, like... I can, like, punch over here, right? All right, so that has moving and hitting. All right, I just, like, broke all those buildings. Like... All right, let's, um... Let's do rockets on this one. Oh, there's more than one! All right, this is... That has a big one. This is closer, though. Is oh, actually, they're both about the same. Uh, let's do this one. Uh oh, we made a wrong decision. Okay, so what happened there was is that I needed to wait for my turn to, to, to come back? Or could I have hit a button and, and had it faster than that? Okay, so if it's... Okay, this is actually kind of awkward. All right, so once it's there, it's highlighted. All right, will that get the one at my feet? Just watch. How's that? Got it. Got it. Number 13 within enemy threat. No, it didn't. Okay. Nice. Aegis activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Okay, why don't we just keep it on all the time? Are your sentinels still operational? Takes too much power. Mine's doing okay. 
I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? Who are we, fight who, who are we fighting? Oh, this is number 12. How's it going, number 12? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. How do how do random people have sentinels? What how do you not know all the I believe that's sentinel number 12. Okino's machine. Okay. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. <laughs> what do you mean? Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. <laughs> You know what? I'm, st I'm starting to think that everyone thinks they're the main character. <laughs> Every single person thinks they're the hero. <laughs> I found his sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? Oh, he's gonna die. I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. Oh, man. Make sure you don't bump into me in the Sentinel, because then we're going to have, like, a, a robot upskirt shot. We don't want that. We made it. do 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 Oh, now we're this dude. Takatoshi Hijiyama's story is now available. All right. What if I don't want to? What if I want to do the other ones? Can I? Can I switch? I ha do I have to go in order? It's not letting me switch. Mm -hmm. It looks. It looked like that was the selection, but it's not. The story of Takatoshi Hijiyama. All right. Sundown, Ka Kasumi Tokisaka Shrine, 1944. What do you mean 1944? Looks like they're starting to panic down there. Okay, th this isn't even the character we put. Okay, whatever. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. Thank you, Ecto Sun, for the resub. Thank you very much. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Yeah. Well Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. 1944. Kiriko-san! Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. <laughs> this has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Now another character. Someone else walk off from off screen. Oh, we're this person. Wait, hold on. So we grow our hair out at some point? Oh, Ooh, I like the music. Okay, so... This has to be involved with the time travel in some way, right? Like 1944... She has high tech, so something about the kaiju attack in the future, but they develop time travel tech, and instead of using the time tra travel tech to do a reasonable response to prevent the, ka the kaiju from being able to destroy humanity, they instead decided to put school children in robots and make them learn on the fly and hope that works out okay, because then we get upskirt shots, and that's more important than saving the human race. Do the kaiju also have time travel, whatever, or 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 no? Oh, we have we oh, event archive. What's that? Are you fucking kidding me? Aoi Ward Gogyo Street? The final battle begins. Juro Karabi witnesses Iori Fuyusaka, ent Fu Fuyusaka entering Sentinel number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. Alright, so that that's in 1985. 
And the scene that we were in before was also 1985. Right now we're in 1944. Alright. So is it better to the dream team? Ari Fuyusaka comes to the passageway to look for a cat, but it immediately runs into the bushes and gets away. When she looks back up, she sees Juro Karabi and Shu Amuguchi talking to each other in secretive tones about how gay they are. Daily life is daily life is strange. No, I'm not gonna do that, Anu. Juru Karabi feels that something's off with with his school and daily life. As he talks to the, his good friend Kyoto Shiba, like he always does while in class, Miwako Sawatari asks him to take some papers from the podium over to the nurse's office. All right, so this is just a recap of what happened in, in, all, in all. Oh my God, we're gonna be playing this game for a while. Oh fuck. Wait, hold on. Appearance. Okay, so Seki Seki Gahara is the guy. Spoilers. I have figured it out because because of this. Seki Gahara is Aori's uh, best boy. All right, what are the mystery files? Mystery files contain detailed information on events, characters, and important terminology. Okay, these are going to be important. Use mystery points acquired in destruction to gain access to sealed mystery files. What? As the story progresses, these files provide answers to the mysteries related to the individuals and institutes that occur. You can unlock these answers by completing the protagonist's events, receiving them as battle rewards, and by using the mystery point you obtain, points you obtain through fighting kaiju. What? Instead of it just being like... Like, revealed organically as the story better dictates it to? No, it's a fucking unlock system? Man, can't wait to get the conclusion of this plot. If only I ground out the point. Juro Karabi is a 16-year-old boy from Sakura High School. He loves B-movies and enjoys watching kaiju videos every night. Nerd. While soft-spoken and good-natured, he feels something off about his everyday life and one day finds himself summoning a giant robot for real. <laughs> Ayori Fuyusaka is a female student in the same class as Jiro Karabi, the main character. She's an ordinary, cheerful, cheerful girl who's hard not to like. Eh. Though her GPA is average, as well as her looks, she excels and fails in specific subjects. Fuyusaka is Miwako Sawatari's childhood friend and used to be classmates with Shu Amaguchi and Natsuno Minami too. Due to the strange dreams she's been having, she suffers from insomnia, oversleeps, and even frequently dozes off in class. One morning, in her rush to get to school on time, Fuyusaka literally runs into Ai Sekigahara at the front gate. It's love at first sight. Thank, thank you for making it clear that it's love at first sight. Th thank you for also, like, making it so that it's literally runs. Like, like very, very important plot beat here. All right, I would like to learn more about the nurse. You don't have enough mystery. What do you mean? What, what do you want from me? What? I want to... I would like a mystery point, please. Hello, do you have a mystery point? I'm getting some, uh, who is the guy I called Hitler guy in Danganronpa 1? I'm getting some big vibes about about this character right now. Was it Taco? Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. I did. But you were the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. He's not, you think he's my real dad? I'm sorry to break it to you. Yep, there you I'm go. not his daughter. Yep. He's a spy too. The real Kiriko Doji still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I am the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them yep. after all. There we go. Yep. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but Okay, he, his voice sounds familiar too. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. Doji? His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Persona? What are you talking about? What happened to you? That's about what I figured you'd say. Uh, is it a good policy to always use the triangle first, or to press X first? Like, if I have a thought, should I always use the thought first on the thought, or X always use X first? 
All right, so exhaust X dialogue, then go to triangle. All right, thank you, chat. I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I mean, you mean you designed them, right? Like you didn't, you didn't build them. I drew up the designs in an editor. There you go. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. Yeah, just the automated factory that just makes them. Yeah. But who, that's... Who, who built the factory? No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. Yeah, anesthesia leads to amnesia. What's the jingle? To the factory. You said you were there on behalf of the professor. Yeah, I lied. It was as good a cover story as any. What are you talking about? What happened? That's about... If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I'm Akiro Ikusaba. Or maybe... You would. This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... I... <sighs> Oh, you make YouTube videos? Did you make your own microphone? Banger point weep! Yeah, I didn't consider that. You're right. Sorry. You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna... But oh, shit! I'm sorry. Finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. Automated factories exist IRL joke. Okay, I know you're just doing the bit and playing and riffing off what I said earlier, but an automated factory that that builds a fucking like 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 fucking Gundam or whatever the fuck they're called. Call, like come on. Come on. Like <laughs> think 3D printing. Oh yeah, sorry. We we 3D printed the fucking mech. One one little block at a time, and then we just super glued it together. <laughs> this is goodbye. You could do it too if you had a 3D printer and enough resin. Kiriko san? Uh oh. She vanished? That's impossible. Barely a moment. It's a cat. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko san go? What? Uh, are you, uh, wait, what? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, he's the one who snuck into the factory. All right, here we go. There's something fishy about him. But if he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. Who are you talking to, bud? I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. All right. All right, I'm hidden. <laughs> I'm invisible. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? Not much better. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? Wait, you look familiar. If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Oh, you're the guy that, um, that, that on bumped into and we saw her panties, I remember. I'd still catch up if I'm fast. Alright. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. What do you mean catch up? It's time travel. Just, just go right to where she was. Was one of the scenes earlier in 1984 and I forgot it and I thought it was 1985? Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Suspicious man. Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? A notepad will help. Now nah, I'm just gonna wing it and then when I get confused about something and blame the game, you can all get really mad at me. If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Alright, try me. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. <laughs> Is that a joke? 
Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some petty dreadful. Okay, so you're so you're actually from 1944. Can you not see the computer shit that's going on? Could, did you not see like like in your mind? Did she just like fucking just blip out of existence and you didn't see like the the the, the blue light that she went into or or what? Hmm. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. His daughter Kiriko-san came along with him, but what does it mean if this isn't her? Sentinel Project for the war. Is this alternate history? Back of the box doesn't say. I guess we'll find out. There's no point explaining myself to you. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. Who doesn't? I knew it. I know. Although that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing then. His real name is Sukasa Okino. Do you not know about the Japanese mecha division of 1944? No, I didn't. Okay, so what I mean by alternate history is like, like if, if they want to have like a fictionalized version that you know, like in in World War Two, maybe that like they're saying like in, in this version of, of reality they were working on like mechs or whatever. Then like as long as it didn't change the outcome of the war or whatever, I'd be like, okay, that's just a fictionalized version of of, of our past. It's fine. Alternate history would be like, okay, what if the war like someone else won the war you know what i mean or or like um some big event during the war didn't happen in this timeline that's what i mean by by um <clears throat> by alternate history I'm, I'm curious but this time travel so i guess it doesn't really matter like like e e like uh, just just by the the process of having time travel the, the the reality of having time travel uh things are going to change i guess but we'll see maybe whatever happens happens to to sukasa okino he wears that stuff for his own reasons what? Don't joke about that. Wait, what? You're just trying to confuse me. This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? Uh, this Tsukasa Okino? To another time. To another time. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This... Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right, you're... Time travel. Getting too old for the shift. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. You're not gonna just let him tr come with you, right? Like, you're not gonna accidentally bring someone from 1944 to the future. Okay, we are. Okay, cool. Alright, awesome. Alright. We're very, like, laissez faire with our time travel. Alright, sunset. Katie, river, riverbed. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching Masan. Probably shit in his pants right now. Shifting. Took tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? I said hold it. I said hold it. I am holding it. Do you want some? Is this is this Chicago style? Uh, Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. Uh, I'm sorry, I feel like we maybe just glossed over, I don't know, five years? Like, what? His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him. What does it mean if this isn't her? S still has the same thoughts. Noodles stir-fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world, but if there's one exception... It's my yakisoba pond. This can't be true. Was the Kiriko <laughs> Doji <laughs> still, really a man? Still thinking it. This. Su <laughs> hey, how's it going? Don't give me that shit. 
Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. Oh, wait, what? So, I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wh what are you, a soccer player? I said hold it. <sighs> wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He loves Soba. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Oh no. The jacket snatcher. Wait. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Solid Divinium, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Russell, for the resub as well. Do you know the nurse doctor? Can you introduce us? And thank you, Double Zero 3D, for the resub. I think we're 20 minutes away from break. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Which is good, because I kind of need to pee. I'll look at the, the train moving in the background. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Go pee early, please? Nah, fuck your bet. Take care. Oh, look, another person with two next to their name saying, maybe break early. I need to pee too. Hey, don't you walk away. Come on. <gasps> oh, no. My yakisoba pun. Yeah, my yakisoba. I didn't even get a single bite. I mean, half of it's still good. Just, just replace the plastic part with the other part. You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. Okay, who else would just rip off the part that it, that like like had contact with the ground and eat it, eat it? I would still eat this. One hundred percent, I would still eat this. Absolutely, I would still eat this. I mean, I would leave 10% of it. Gro- What do you mean gross? Just like, the point- the point that's had contact with the floor, you just- you just rip that part off a little bit and you just don't eat that part. Like, okay, if- like, the floor looks like it- it's hard to tell with the art style, okay? The floor possibly could be wet and muddy right now. If that's the case, then maybe I would just, like, cut it in half and just throw the half away. But the part that's in the plastic bag is clearly still edible. Uh oh. Sick him. Oh, we won. Stop! We're sorry! Look, we'll get you another snack, man. You better. I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Uh oh, he hates me! Especially Yaki Soba Pon. What about the last nugget and or french fry? Wait, aren't you- weren't we just talking to you? It's the exact same hair. I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? Friends a bit much. I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Hold it. <sighs> yeah, I agree. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help, but they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Ooh. Don't go picking fights you can't win. Oh, these guys are going to be best pros. Enough, oh, best pros for sure. You owe me a fight. Yeah, here we go. Heh, <laughs> you're pretty good. Heh, <laughs> not as good as you. Heh. <laughs> Come at me. You compliment me too well. Oh, you're <laughs> gonna regret it. Why are we auto scrolling through this now? Oh, another character! Sorry, one second. I need to talk to this person. What the? 
come at me. Bring it. One second. Come at me. Bring. Come at. Bring. Come at. Bring. Come at. Bring. No, no, no. Come at. At me. Bring it. Come at. At me. <laughs> Bring it. Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here I figured I'd have to check up on you. Oh, is this the um the the person we saw time travel? I know that voice. Yeah. And that face. Okay. Wait. Oh no. I came for a fight and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay. Looks like it's almost done. So what happens to the fight? Did we win? This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. All right, there we go. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. I just that that feel when you heard that they're having a, a two for one on yakisoba pan. Do 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 do. Oh, I'm coming. Looks like it's locked. Professor Doji let his daughter. What does it mean? This can't be. Was the this. Okay, am I climbing in? What am I doing? Oh. Guess you found me. Kikiri Doji. All right. Okay, so we we just saw. This can't be true. What was the this? I'm gonna go with them until this we know for sure. True. Okay, although, like, it seems to be leading toward he at the moment. All right, last time we saw them was in the previous scene, and they didn't have long hair, right? So they went and changed their hair with a wig or something or some technology or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go, son. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. Wait, what? I figured you'd be here soon, so... What do you mean? Like, did you... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a... Okay, seriously, why is it just auto going through it now? How did auto advance turn on by itself? Did I hit a button? A year. There must be like a way to toggle it with a button. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. Oh, it's half a year. Wow, we really glossed over six months. I got you some yakisoba pan. Oh, how'd you know I like it so much? You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yakisoba pan for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. Uh oh. Take me back to my own time. I can't. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no? What'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? Yeah. I would never. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? And? Why don't you find out? Ooh. Uh. Oh, I like you. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko? -san? Oh shit, I didn't hit X first. Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. But how old are they both? Okay, well, they, they designed giant sentinels that... And, and, and they're time-traveling. 
and also like send them off to a factory and has that amount of authority so you make a good point because they, they could be as they could be as young as like eight years old because it's anime so like yeah you have a good point yeah let's back oh, off it didn't hurt that I taught him about his futures technology but why why would you make that deal with him for the sentinel Ooh. for the cause go ahead I'll hear you out well go what is she serious she says she built the Sentinel herself, but... So you're actually Tsukasa Oki now. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> Confess? I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. Okay, so leaning toward toward man at the moment, but still not sure. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Hmm. Oh. Uh, You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. Not sure if Thark. All right. So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on, you've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Yes, they could. Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. Oh, how far in the future are we going? That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future. In an automated factory. But designed by you. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids. And Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So, you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof, you're a lot more determined than I expected. Really? You're, you're impressed that man who was, like, accidentally time-warped 40 years in the future, like, from wartime, looked up how the war ended? Alright. You've been keeping tabs on me. Wow. I'm impressed. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. Okay. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over, then you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's whatever that sound? I want. Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Professor Doji is... What is Shit, it why do I keep thinking that Triangle's gonna cancel it? Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. Why are you going to school? <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. You can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. 
You can stop being. 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 Okay, so uh, there was a line in the school where if you kept exhausting it, they said something different. And I was curious if it would ever happen again. It doesn't seem like it, it does. Uh, was there a new thought? The uniform. This can't be true. Was the Kiriko right, we're, we're, we're gonna think of the uniform later, I guess. Alright, uh, I had something else to say. Fuck, what was I gonna say? Okay, so there are three time travelers. This is the one that bumped into, um, bumped into Iori outside, who we just saw time travel from 1944 here, chasing, uh, whoever the hell this is, Okino. And Okino is also a time traveler. Didn't we see Okino at school in a different scene? I'm pretty sure. I don't know if we spoke to them or not. Um, but also the other time traveler that we know who looks a lot like I to me. I think is I is is uh, is go to like I go to and um, uh, I don't know who the other guy is Karabi look really similar to me but I I and go to look like even more similar I think but I think one of them has glasses those got glasses go to has glasses can't be the same person they're glasses You can see if you exhaust the dialogue about their head. Okay, yeah, so w was it not read at the school when I could keep talking about the papers in the podium? Because it, cause it was the same line like three times until finally there was something new. Where'd he go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well... It wasn't? Oh, okay. It Yaki Soba Pan. Don't drop it. Not much I could do. Oh no, Joe is colorblind. What do you mean? Why am I colorblind? What are you talking about? If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. Quick, Joe. What color is this hair right now? This guy. This hair. This guy's hair is brown. The sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. Okay, I would try this food. Mm. That hit the spot. Alright, let's go upstairs and sleep. No? Okay. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. Oh, that's why it's an old building. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh-oh, it's time for another battle. Alright, we're G1. Oh, is it Generation? This is a Generation 1 mech? May 27th, 4.35 p.m. The Sentinels are incredible weapons. If we could deploy them in the mainland war, they could instantly turn the tide. Oh, who cares about that? That war's been over for decades, Hijiyama kun You can stop worrying about it. We will never stop until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. Where to next? Don't get ahead of yourself. We're not done here. Reinforcements. Are they both in the same sentinel? From across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G molars in the back. You see them? G molar? G molar? Is call the big round ones? I'm worried about the molars too. No, G molar. As in with the letter G? It stands for Golem. You know what? Never the ground. mind. A G molar is a dimos built for excavation. Oh, yeah, the G stands for gangster for sure. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy, and we need to stop them. What terminal? It's a city! A slowpoke like that? 
All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is there some, like, like central terminal thing that's, like, coordinating the Sentinels and the Kaiju know somehow? And if they get to it, that's it, Sentinel's done? Or, like, uh, I don't understand this. Is that where they're headed? Yeah. Yes, that's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Alright, so G1 does stand for Gen 1, okay. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? Or gangster one. I don't have much choice. We're going in. <laughs> Victory condition. Destroy all kaiju. Lost condition. Terminal destroyed. Tutorial. EP. Using powerful armaments will consume energy. EP. EP is gradually replenished by defeating enemies, but you can replenish it faster by using defend charge EP. When you use defend charge EP, you'll be unable to move temporarily. Make use of it strategically. Try using the armament leap attack, which consumes EP. All right, let's do it. I'll make it work. All right, leap attack. Oh, there's like a range on it. All right, so the circle shows me where you can do it. All right, so is that good? We're gonna get all of them here. Looks like it. Rip everyone in those buildings. Unbelievable! I'm acting like an amateur. All right, rush attack. Oh man, look at that to the right there. That looks pretty cool. Is it one for leap attack too? Oh, they're kind of chunky, aren't they? Tackle E, tackle E. All right, let's do another leap attack. So we can we can turn a corner with a tackle. Oh, that seems really powerful. God damn. Alright, rush attack. Let's try defending. Alright, is that a full recharge of our EP? That, that, that took a long time. I, I think it probably does. from before. Wait, Hijiyama-kun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer. It's all part of the plan. Besides, there's something I want us to try. Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them? Yeah. Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Tutorial meta skills. By gathering meta chips from defeating enemies, your meta gauge in the bottom left of the screen will meta increase. Metaphorically, you can use meta skills when the meta gauge is filled up. Open the menu with triangle to use the meta skill phase plasma EMP. The M stands for meta. Lam my yo got him. What did you just do? The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. Nope, can only do it once. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. 
The only meta skill you can currently use in battle is Phase Plasma EMP, and you can only use it once. Okay, so we don't have more. Once terminal enhancements are available, you'll be able to unlock and enhance area skills. You can also increase the number of uses. All right. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Oh, I can change the direction that I'm that I'm that I'm hitting in. All right, so can I like keep moving? No, I can't. Try again. All right, what are you doing? Let's see. All right, let's tackle. Like the knife. Tackle. Oh, it's moving. Oh, okay. So that you need to finesse that a little bit. Uh-oh. Damn, how are they just appearing? Oh. Aegis activation confirmed. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. Yeah, because they like were in the rim. Magic. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? Yeah, that's a good point. It takes time to activate. And if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. Ooh. No one. I'm fighting solo. Oh, so you can't hear him. All right. Sentinel signals detected. are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. <laughs> how many sentinels are online? How many sentinels are there? 17 and 19. So we made it through. <sighs> Triple digit sentinels. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh well, we're over, we're over two hours. In, enjoy this, I'll be back. I'm gonna go pee. Uh, before I go though, thank you to Dehirisk Harlan for the new sub, welcome. Welcome to the, the Sentinel, um, fuck. The Sentinel Circus, there we go. Welcome. Thank you, Calcium, for the resub. Thank you, Luke Alt, for the new sub. Also, to Stolen Titan. Very uh, applicable here. Thank you. Welcome, Stolen Titan. The Sentinel Senpais. The, the, the Senpai Squad. Thank you, Fromage Fiend. Nice. I agree. For the new sub. Welcome. And thank you, CJ1517, also for the resub. All right. I am going to mute, mute the microphone, and I will be back in about five minutes.
Okay, so now Natsuno Natsuno Minami was the one that came in in Ayori's scene, right? At the classroom. When it introduced like five girls all at once. She's the one that's friends with with uh, with the two that have been together for a while. And the other one is the um the new student is is the new student the one that we just uh, Okina or was that someone else? Maybe it was Okina. I don't think it was. I think their voice was different. Anyway, let us continue. Ooh. Nice butt shot there. But Joe, butts exist in real life. Why are you denying the objective reality that is butts? Minami-san. Nachan. Oh, this is the only character in the game that knows how to run. Talking about so seriously over here. N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Yeah, just normal things. Oh yeah. Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff, like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way. Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. Oh, for fuck's sake. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. Alright. So she listens to the Drogan uh, podcast. Cool. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. Oh yeah, it's the 80s, that's so right. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. Hmm. It's a real 1982 classic. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. Yes. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, I was. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. And you're gonna have to get better grades in science then. Oh, man. You're right. A classic sci fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods. Were they from Mars? And use them to invade the Earth. Fuyasaka-san. Were they from Mars in the Tom Cruise movie? Oh, that's right. Everyone's already there. I just gotta get my stuff. In the original book, they were from Mars. It was a book first? I thought it was a, a radio play first. And then it was a, a movie afterwards. It was a book before it was a radio play? The radio was an was adaptation. Was it really? Okay. Why am I being joked for not knowing something?
<laughs> so stoked. So stoked. Gonna pop in my headphones, turn off all the lights. <laughs> Yuki-chan. Oh, it's Yukiko. Oh, no. <laughs> Drink your fucking orange juice. Uniform yet? Oh, yeah. Who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Porn. Oh, this? <laughs> Come on, tell me. Nope. You're gonna laugh at me. Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually, to know you're still my notch on. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Okay, time to move away and never text her. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. Who said you couldn't? What did you say to me? See, th their colors are the same. That means that these these characters are paired. They're gonna be banging by the end of this. Okay, chill out, Ogata Kun. Hopefully, after a time skip. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> What the? Well, that was anticlimactic. Sorry, I just calculated that I need to do some quick cardio to keep my heart rate up to make sure I'm hitting my goals for making the, the, the track team. It's really important to me, you know that. Hold on one second. All right, now where were we? Yuki-chan. Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. All right, so Yukiko and Aoi are being paired up in this one. All right, I like it. Better get back to class. See you soon. I really like the art style. I do too, actually, yeah. It's, um... It's not really that that anime weeby. Like, it's definitely, like, uh, got some of it, but I'm, I'm not really that much uh, of an artist to be able to recognize it, but I, I really like it. It looks, um... It looks painted in some areas. It looks really good. I like it a lot. Reflection in the puddle there. Fast as ever, not to know. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh, well, it was kind of windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year. What's up, Senpai? 
Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Manager? Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Huh? Be an ass Where and did leave. Everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Huh? Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. Did you? I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. Oh, this is just like one of my Japanese UFO animes. <gasps> Wait a minute. Could they really be men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe. Okay, so she's really stupid. All right. There's a UFO that's landed near here. All right, cool. Yep, definitely Owie. All right. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Oh, that was calculated there. He was going to bump into her, but then he noticed that she wasn't wearing a skirt. And he's like, eh, it's not worth it. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. Do 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 do. Secret agents and silent, they call the men in black. No one really knows much else. Oh, that was that was new. Sorry, shit. Better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. Stretch. <sighs> Finally done. Tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Ugh. I am pretty sweaty. Yeah, so go home in your gym clothes and then have a shower. Why change clothes that now you're gonna have to wash all your clothes? E.T. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. 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 Uh, wait. What if... What's going on? What? There a pervert in here? Yeah, you. Still totally dressed. What the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. Yeah, Yosuke. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron. Get out of here already. Damn. Try to do something nice around here. Um, hey there. <laughs> this is wild. Wait, why wouldn't you want to show the guy that? Like, why? Okay, whatever. Excuse me? No way. It talks. And it wants a BJ. <laughs> 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 
Zach, BJ and the coffee. I think maybe we're going to meet a girl tonight. I hope you're excited. <laughs> oh, man. This is just like the movies. No way. It talks. No, let me use the triangle. An alien. Are you an alien from space? BJ. Oh, my God. I'm the chosen one. <sighs> All right. little guy oh did I scare you it's okay I'm your friend hmm oh shit sorry I hit the wrong button can you and I are friends <gasps> it worked okay Stay calm. This is a baby sentinel. They grow up real big. You have to feed them, like, metal and shit, and then they just keep growing. Alien. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. What is this music? You want 11 BJ's? Holy shit. BJ. Is that your name? <laughs> My name is Natsuno. In a lost code match. Huh? Natsuno. Yeah. That's me. I don't mean to be rude, but is that a space suit you're wearing? Like is your brain inside of a jar or something? His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Wait, wait no, you're just making shit up. Secret agents root and silencing. They call them. It's okay. Don't be scared. Oh, I think I get it. Are those men after you? Is that why you're hiding in here? He's just not answering at all. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus? It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. Yeah, it all makes sense. And that means I must protect him. Not enough. Please. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Steins gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? Oh, she's so fucking stupid. Oh my god. Holy shit. We're like approaching ochre in levels of stupid here. She's so fucking dumb. And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Search gate. Wow. This technology is crazy. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. 
It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait. That's where you want the BJ? You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. Okay. What are we going to do? PE bag. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. I can... My PE bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. Will it? He... BJ is much bigger than that. Unless, like, can he, like, compress down? I can get him. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. Maybe he can fit in here too. Sorry about the tight fit. Yeah, no. Whatever. Nuh uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? All right. Is BJ going to be an evil BJ? Oh no. The gate is like how we get to the terminal. Evil BJ. <sighs> okay. It doesn't seem like we were followed. This is it. Toki Saka Shrine. Okay, so that looks like the part where they were they did the the time travel before. This place has been here forever. Yeah, there we go. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this? Do, 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 do. Thank you, Nexlative, for the new sub. Welcome to the the Senpai Sentinels. Uh, thank you, Piotr Vissarionovich. Hopefully that's somewhere close for the resub. Thank you very much was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity. Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. Uh oh. What is all this? So bright. Are these holograms? Access code approved. Uh oh. I've never seen anything like this. Uh oh. Except in the freaking movies. Designating sector. How many paradoxes are we causing with this accidental fucking time travel? Wow. This is awesome, DJ. Oh man. You're really gonna make. How long is it gonna take her to notice? Don't leave me behind. Or still hasn't noticed somehow. Huh, things are a little bit weird here. No new thoughts? Nope. Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. Wait, you you thought it was a dream the whole time? One second we're at the shrine. Then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? Okay, so she kinda noticed. What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. <sighs> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. 
Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. Oh no! That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven, no. There's more every time I look. My god, there's 13 of them. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Okay, that looks more like the war from the worlds. War of the worlds, whereas earlier they were more like kaiju. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? 2064? They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching. Good luck. That was the most awkward way of dropping the date in. <laughs> 2064. 2064. We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. Will humanity get past today, a Monday, in, in January of 2064 at 7.31pm? It's not looking like it. This can't be real. Okay, so why are they attacking in the 80s as well? Hey, where are you going? Can the can they time travel too? Uh oh, they're still here. What? Uh oh. What are those? A monster tripod higher than many houses. Striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in, in its career. What? A walking engine of glittering metal. Striding now across the heather. The war of the war. Oh, okay. I think I know what they are. have one extra leg but they're just like the tripods yeah it's all movies weapons used by aliens to invade earth and now they're destroying my home okay what the fuck is going on here so so the guys that are all into kaiju are fighting kaijus the one that's really into ufos and and war of the worlds gets war of the worlds what what the fuck is going on here My, my bullshit detector is going off hardcore. What's going on here? Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Nah. Do they want to destroy humanity? But it could. It could be attacked by aliens. BJ, why? Why did we come here? Search. Memory cell. Yeah, I know, but... What is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Sentinel number 17 has been added to the thought cloud. That's a little, that looks a little different. Oh, it's just here. Oh no! Oh. Good thing I'm in the track team. Oh, only 12% progress. Damn. May 27th. 4.52 p.m. What year? How am I doing, Miracoon? Anything I'm screwing up here? 
Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. Why are they naked? This is generation three. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Talking about BJ? Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. Whoa, you got training? You're special. All right, so this is the one that has it on his head. All right. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay, got it. Warning, Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Mirka, they're coming. What do we do? Should he's, we shoot? He's the guy with the long socks. Yeah, the bandit socks. Thank you, Daddy's Jazzy's. Yep. Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we. Here, oh shit! I, Sorry. I'm kind of shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Yeah. Look, Miracoon. They're coming at us in one straight line. Oh, nice. It's like a tutorial. <sighs> I'm in the perfect position. Yeah. Wow. It's great. Pierce through packs of kaiju straight ahead with the main battery heavy railgun. Enemy on the move. Main battery heavy railgun. Ooh, does this have infinite range? No, it doesn't. But like maybe effectively infinite range. I enjoy a railgun. Yep, and all the buildings behind it too. Rip. That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, Roger that. I'm not Roger. Destroy all kaiju, lost condition, terminal destroyed. All right. Six multi launching rapid cannons, railgun, EMP stunner, a sentinel localized electromagnetic field halts movement uh, and drops aerial kaiju. All right, so let's uh, try the, the railgun. Hmm, I think we want to get the big ones. We didn't hit them. Oh, long miss long range really is long range. All right. Uh, what about the rapid cannons? Here we go. Take that. Enemy signal terminated. All right. So the red circles around them are showing when we're, we're going to get a, a, another turn. Okay. So we can't. Is there any way to get them all in? No, it doesn't look like it. Eh, let's do this. Oh, we did get them. Nice. We got through it. For a first-time pilot, those were some impressive moves out there. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have done it without you, Miracun. Warning: Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. What? There's more? How many of these guys are there? This isn't good. Looks like they're deploying wide-range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. Okay, and they're just waiting, are they? There we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? <gasps> We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro Kun? You're in a sentinel too? Fucking everyone's a sentinel. How many terminals are there? It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. 
Yori. No way. You too, Yori? What's going on? All my clothes are gone. Thank you, Jurokun. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. Together. Tutorial support units. The second generation model Fuyu Saka pilots comes with support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Once positioned, each support unit automatically takes action until the enemies are destroyed. Select Fuyu Saka with D pad and then enter the action menu and show and choose Sentry Gun. Alright. Sentry Gun. Alright, so I can I can just throw a sentry gun down wherever I want. Alright, these seem to be coming over here. Let's put it here. Alright, sentry gun. Oh man, what the hell? That, that's awesome! No, move! Uh-oh. Tutorial. Intercepting missiles. Certain enemies, like Twin Tails, can attack from a distance using missiles. Missiles can be evaded by moving or be or intercepted with attacks. Deal with them in, in a way that best suits the situation. Alright, where, where is it coming? Where is it coming? It looks like it's coming over here. Do I get to see where it's coming in? Hmm, it said aerial attack. What about an EMP stunner? Right, that looks like it's actually hitting it, isn't it? I think it is. It did. Alright, cool. Not throwing away my shot. Where are they? Here we go. A hit. Enemy unit destroyed. What now? What can I do? How many sentry guns can I put down? Number 13, moving out. They've got their sights on me. Gotta do something. Hold up! How's that? Stay calm. Remember your training. Did I get it? Enemy down. Okay. Alright, so we are out of EP, so let's defend to get more. Where are they? Now take that enemy signal terminated. What to do? Ready for this? Get it! Take that! Nah, gotta think. Do you like the XCOM part of the game? Um, it's too early to tell so far. It feels very like impossible to lose. So I'm, I'm maybe I'm still in th in the tutorial, and later on it's gonna get more complicated. Looks like it. No, this is still just the beginning. If they can't use this terminal, they'll just move on to the next oh, one. So they want to use the terminal. Why do they want to use the terminal? If that's true, the more targets they lose. The more desperate our enemies will get, and the harder they'll fight. How do they know about the terminals? Yeah. These battles are only going to get tougher. Hmm. Seriously? No more enemies, right? Do, 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 do. Yes? Who the fuck is that? Oh, she's the one that came in when we first met the, the sporty one. Okay. Megumi Yakushiji. 
Let's save it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is this 1042 in the bottom? Oh, whatever. Oh, we have a mystery point! Oh, we have a mystery point. Heading home. Satsuki Pond Park. Aw, lame. Alright, that's the one that we were speaking about first. So that that's not, um... Okina. Okino. Alright, I think we have a mystery point. Why are these... Why are these, uh... Why are these glowing? Oh, because they're new. Natsuno Miyanami is an energetic and honest female <laughs> student who's part of the track team. She loves watching sci-fi shows and is an avid fan of the supernatural who genuinely hopes to have an alien encounter herself. And then suddenly she just did. Wow, how fucking convenient. Her childhood nickname was Dr. Space. She has a family of five, including her parents and little brothers. Yuki Takamiya is her childhood friend and her closest confidant. One day, Minami finds BJ hiding in the track room. He's in search of a memory cell and Sentinel number 17, so she decides to help him find them. Takatoshi Hijiyama is a boy who shifted... Boy? From 1944 to 1984. He is a brave and loyal individual who takes pride in his duty. I thought, like, so far I thought he was, like, one of the only adults. He's a boy? Says the Sentinel pilot. Though he used to be a rough-spoken and... He used to be rough-spoken and gruff. He's matured and found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted in 1944. After living like a homeless drifter for the six months following his shift, he slides back to his initial surly nature. He fell for Tsukasa Okino who was presenting as a girl, which Okino uses to manipulate him. His favorite food is Yokisaba pan. Nice. Can I can I click on the blue? No? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Alright, I would like to learn more about Miss Mori Mori Mura. Ba uh, sorry, back of Toki Saka Shrine, a shrine near Sakura High School rumored to be haunted by ghosts. An abandoned factory in Higo Yom Romo Cho it used to be a small factory that produced bolts, nuts, washers, and rubber gaskets. It now produces sentinels. It is now Tsukasa Okino, Okino's base of operations. 2060s. The city is in, is in ruins due to the kaiju attacks. Really? Alright, let's go with... Uh, should, we get, should we have a BJ? Nurse's office. I want to learn more about Miss Mori Mura. Yeah, I'm I'm unsealing. The Sakura High School's nurse, who's also the homeroom the homeroom teacher of Class One B, which you're. Uh, holy shit! Wow! Whoa! Bat chat. I, I I'm so okay. Well, these are a waste of fucking time. All right, cool. This is usually a good shortcut, but. It is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Okay, it says it says 2024. Is it is it 2024? Why is it 2024? to you again <laughs> is that what's got you down <laughs> it's just because you're so quiet Megami people take that as you thinking you're better than them yeah Meg or that you're cold and distant not sure which is worse yeah Meg they just need to get to know the real Megami the one who's a hopeless romantic and a cool laid-back girl just like everyone else but that's not who I am maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you Hey, you should try posting videos online, like me. Uh, okay. It could really help you come out of your shell. I think I'll pass. <laughs> I 
Make your critique of a Mario game. You really are great at singing, Tommy. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm hmm I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Okay, is the fog gonna clear and the city's just gonna be like fucking devastated? Like, what's going on here? What is it? Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Oh, it's a giant rabbit robot. I love rabbits, and so now there's a rabbit robot. Oh, my favorite thing is the Loch Ness Monster. Now there's a Loch Ness Monster robot. Oh, man. My favorite is thinking that the moon is secretly a, a giant alien. Oh, now look in the sky. The moon is a giant alien. Probably just a car headlight. Yep. Yeah, still probably just a car headlight. That looks pretty cool. Optimus? Did that thing just fall from the sky? Oh wait, she's the one that said that she went to a different school and she's new. So these two are friends. I didn't realize Meg was new too. Alright, so they're gonna go back in time now to the 80s? Alright. And then they're just gonna start going to school. Cause what else are they gonna do? Are you okay? Oh jeez. I'm completely soaked. And my umbrella got blown away. What a drag. Oh good thing it stopped raining right after this though. Holy crap. We could have totally died just now. What even is that thing? Um I don't know, but let's go home. You need to post that video, eh? Could it be a piece of an airplane? <sighs> yep. Mm-hmm. That's what it is, yep. Thank you, Sora TDL, for the new sub. Welcome to the, the Senpai Sentinels. No, that's not it. But what then? No, that's what it is. Go. Oh, something's moving. A light. And it's moving? BJ. Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? We gotta report this to the police. Uh, right. I think they know. Uh, uh, something's happening. Get out of there. There are gonna be a pile of clothes that just appear on the ground right now. Oh, I can move. Oh, okay. Mysterious boy. This guy just popped up out of nowhere. What the? I know, but he's pretty cute. Should we go talk to him? Like, I don't know. He's a new boy. I don't know if we want to talk to him. Yeah, that's true. Like, boys are kind of weird. It would be like uncouth, right? Like, tee we don't talk to boys. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's just call the police. You saw it too, right? Where did he come from? Uh, um. I've never spoken to a boy my age before. Are you all right? Where am I? No. When am I? <laughs> when? <laughs> well, today is October. No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's 2024. 2024. Oh, quickly. My phone. Is the Witcher 3 video out? Quickly! I must have been forcefully shifted here. Forcefully shifted? The front line's been broken. It's over. 
It's all over. What? Um, should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi, and I've come from the future. This timeline. Oh, Izumi. Okay, so that's a different last name, right? They're coming. Man, how many intros does this game have? Is it just intros the whole time? Alright, now we're in 1985. Alright. Okay, that looks anime as fuck there with the girls on the bench. Oh, it's the cat! Everyone the loves cat. the cat. Yep, it's the 14th Sentinel. It looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. <sighs> Are you all right? <laughs> doesn't even exist yet. Oh, okay. So she she knows what's going on. All right. Why is she medicating Izumi then? Like, what, what was the whole point about that? Or, or maybe th those aren't her files. Maybe she has them, but they were there. Reminisce. Oh. oh. I thought we were going to chase the cat. I needed to see you just one last time. Oh, really? One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no, you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I have to try. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know in Austin Powers, <laughs> Dr. Evil has mini-me? It sounded like he said mega-me. <laughs> this is the comp complete opposite of mini-me. It's mega-me. <laughs> I hope that it's not, but... Mega-me. <laughs> I really am great mega-me. 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 <laughs> Me, this is bad. <laughs> uh. Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. <laughs> and now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. <laughs> I've told a woman named Morimura about you. All right. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? Megami? I need you to stay focused. Alright. Please, have even her looking at them, please. Please. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. He's dead. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. J 
Shiro is a me. No, wait. <laughs> Shiro. Huh? Oh, he's found a new Mega Me. This is the school you attend. It is. How about we head back to the nurse's office now? Who the fuck is this? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. Okay, what the fuck is going on? There's like multiple alien invasions, multiple timelines, robots being built, different kinds of alien invasions all at different times. Some from War of the Worlds, some from Kaiju. The, the, fucking dies, like comes back or whatever, like fails, goes back in time, loses his memory. Now he has amnesia. Now he's been replaced with a new identity. All fucking schoolgirls, secret society, men in black. Fucking BJ, what the fuck is this? That can't be possible. It was the only way. <laughs> I'm sure he would agree. It had to be done. Yeah, so I'm sure. Now you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me, you're doing this for him. A few months later. Wow, okay. Record scratch, freeze frame. Oh, what's That's Fluffy's four. Yeah, what's what's Fluffy's endgame? You know from before. It's been months, you still remember. I am a cat, not a kitty. Oh, uh, for fuck's what? sake. Alright, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just... Talk to me? They must have not gotten enough sleep last night. Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you always this rude? Um... Yes. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Okay, what are you then? Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everyone's name. I'm a talking cat. I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <gasps> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Oh, why, why can you do it, talking cat? Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Okay. Megami, can you ask some fucking questions, please? Because I'm getting really angry. Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. Mm-hmm. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Just just a, one single question that isn't what kind of contract, what do you want me to do? Please, anything else. You really have to think about it. Come on, it'll be easy. No experience necessary. And you'll save Juro. Seems like your best option. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke. I mean, you've time traveled at this point, so... What exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world. One that was destroyed. Where we're all talking cats. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient... <laughs> <civil> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Alright. I'm getting some big fucking Al Simonium Files fucking vibes now. What what's going on? This is this is a load of bullshit. What's going on? It is called the Dimos Code. Okay. It spreads like a nasty curse. And has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. All right, and why are you a cat? It's a no big deal, Jobby. You get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? I'm trapped in this form. You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. If I told anyone about this, they'd laugh and call me crazy. I'm sorry, but this all just seems so impossible. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> all right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake, you will accept my contract. It was a false choice. It's just a matter of time. Uh. Yeah, I'll let that ride. Do, 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 do. Although it's out of character. If it really is true. Because she's an idiot. And there is a way to bring back Juro. Uh, is she going to run after him now? Then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Oh, okay. And then off to be continued, and then off screen, she just went and said yes. And the next scene, we, we, we were with Megami. She's just gonna be talking to the cat and doing cat things. All right. So, oh yeah, it says tutorial right on the thing here, right? It's definitely in the, in the tutorial. Oh, generation four. May 27th, 4.59 p.m. My sentinel can't take much- 23? More of this. You know what? Oh, no, I can't see it. I want to see how many characters we've seen so far. It's like that thing has a wall protecting it. How am I supposed to damage it? Judging by the big crane, that one's probably a high quad. 16. Tommy, why are you- what are you so surprised about? This is my sentinel, isn't it? Seriously, Megumi. I wish you'd just told me. I have to apologize. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be... Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Because, like, did you have to put it on my back? I'm gonna give myself a cramp swiping that thing. But you gotta fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. Okay, so the thing that they swiped against the sentinel is called a switch. Shot her? No, Tommy. We'll fight together. Come on, dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? You gonna be dumb? Or are you gonna listen to your best friend? Yeah, you're right. Sentinel number 23. Returned. Wait a sec. Number 10. Now. This thing's the cockpit of my Sentinel. Oh, you get it now. You charged out first all thumping your chest, and it took you this long to get here? The train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me 
see which of these bozos I gotta trash. The one with four legs, right in front of you. Oh, well, it's a big one. <laughs> oh, okay. So these are in the 80s attack. All right. But your first generation sentinel is perfect for close combat. Okay, so do all of the gen the generations like G1 always has the same? No, this has the Demolisher Blade. I don't think we've ever seen Demolisher Blade before. So there's different. It's, that's isn't it? All right. At least I don't think we did. Maybe we did. Man, it, oh look, I have to show some skin, but all the guy. Two girls and their robots against the world. You know, we could record this and be set for life. Tutorial repairs. When a sentinel's HP reaches zero, it will be immobilized and the pilot will be ejected onto the battlefield. Immobilized sentinels automatically retreat and begin repairing, but they'll be temporarily inoperable. Uh, so they can fix themselves? Like, canonically, too, or no? Without the protection of the Sentinel, any pilots in the field can easily be killed by a mere explosion. Avoid this by moving to a safe location and performing the repair function. Alright, so what do you have? You have arm-mounted pulse lasers. Oh, yours is, like, um, a lot... Looks a lot more nimble. Shield matrix. Place the shields on allies within target area, nullifying attacks from Kaiju. And Flare Torpedo deploys a mine in the target area. Upon detecting Kaiju, it explodes, overheating them. Alright, so I can't really... Alright, I need to move. Oh, I can put this anywhere I want. Alright, can I put the shield matrix down ahead of time and then run my dude into it? No, I can't. Alright. Long range missiles. Oh, they're not that long. Watch this. Was that okay? Got him. I need to think things through. Take that. I'll try. Okay, well, let's do an AOE or we'll only hit one of them. It seems like it'll only hit one. Come on. Get bent. Got a target on the team here. Did I think I lost my 23? No point overthinking it. Here comes the pain. Got him. See ya. That's all pretty freaky. Only hitting one. Let's move up. Did I just do that? Did I just control this mech with my mind? Sorry, robot. I'll try. Okay, 
Okay, so it hit that until it died, and then it targeted the other one next to it. Okay. All right, terminal online. They all vanished. What just happened? Aegis activation confirmed. That area is now secure. Hey, he's that second here. Renya Goto. He's from the future. And further into the future than me. Senpai? Megumi. We're done with all this fighting. We should go get some crepes. Yes, let's let's say uh, let's talk about that. I know a great little place near school. Yeah. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Yakushiji, prepare to intercept the D forces of Did you course. get the crepe sending? The crepe sending. Emmy Gucci's story is now available. All right, Emmy Gucci is the one that has all the video games. All right. Cool. Shu Emmy Gucci. All right. Sunset, 1985. Oh, he's got a he's got a motorbike. Get fucked, Yosuke. That's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? Okay, so we have no. I don't want to do this. I want. To, I think I want event archive. All right, so let's go to all events. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen Sentinels. So those are the thirteen main characters. So at one point we're gonna see Yuki. All right, so let's see if I can remember them. Juro Karabi is is uh, the main character that has lost his memory. At least he seems to be the main character. I don't think he actually is the main character, but he seems to be like the the, the, the mainest character so far, at least. Iori is the one is where, oh my god, where my clothes go. Megami, we just wear Megami. She's the one that's talking to the cat. I, Siki, Gahara, we haven't had any perspective scenes with yet, but um, he the, he's the one that looks like a, like a lighter-haired version of Juro Karabi to me, but he's probably not. Um, I don't like also traveled from 1944 when we were the other guy Go to is the one that keeps talking to us uh, and is from even further in the future than them and keeps talking and, and is like there coordinating the the sentinel stuff uh, Natsuno Minami is the stupid one that uh, with BJ uh, Kaitaro Miura, I have no idea who this is Have we seen this person yet? Oh, is, is he the one that was like, um, I'm going to have to wipe your memory? Oh, that's the bandage leg one. Okay, I know who that is. All right, that's the bandage leg one. All right. Ta Takatoshi Hijiyama, he's the one from 1940-whatever. Nenji Ogata, is that the one that was like, I'm going to have to wipe your memory? No. No. Oh, that's the one that ran in and said I thought you were getting changed. And also, I think he was in the last um, the last uh, round that we did uh, just now. Okay. Uh, Tomi Kisur Kisuragi is the one that likes to do the bunny thing. Shu Emiguchi is who we are right now. Yuti Ka Yuki Takamiya is Yuki-chan, who we haven't seen yet. Or we have seen yet, but we haven't played as yet. Is friends with the stupid one that likes uh, War of the Worlds. Ryoko Shinonomi. Uh, I don't... Uh, we haven't seen this one yet? Or is this is this the one that said, Fuck you, I'm gonna have to wipe your memory. Who, who is this one? I don't know who this is. This is Tough Girl? You, I thought Yuki was tough girl. We haven't seen this one yet. Okay, so the one, the one that um that that said, why did you summon the Sentinel? Isn't a perspective character. The nurse, unfortunately, is not a perspective character. Um, all right. So these are the thirteen Sentinels. All right. Well, there's probably a fourteenth one that they're gonna add later. But yeah. All right. Talking. All right. I think I'm getting somewhat of a handle on it. This. Hey, Wajima, trying to get a date? Amiguchi. 
You son of a bitch. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? Yeah, what have you been sexist for, bro? Really? Yeah. Just another pack of posers. What? Gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High. One of the top dogs in the gang at Nikakuri Industrial School. Otherwise known as one of the top do You stay out of this. Sorry, but you know I'm always on the lady's side. You think she's gonna fall for that shit? That's Takamiya from Suzu High. Wait, the gang leader? The one who beat all you guys up? No way. I only trashed three of these clowns. Now it's payback time. Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. Good luck with that. Amiguchi. How you doing? Back off, lover boy. Whoa. Still running that mouth. Whoa. Thank you, Lamb FGC, for the resub. Thank you, Lamb FGC. Now come on. Bad move. Hey, cut that out. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. Walk away. Seriously, just news flash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Tamaguchi! Tamaguchi! Go. Follow me. Tamagotchi? Oh, we're just running. Okay, cool. Hey. Favorite character so far? None of them. You're gonna be okay after that? What do you mean? Wajima, man. You know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? Well, do I get a last wish, Takamiya-san? Uh, it's too early to tell which which character is, like, my favorite. Um, I kind of like the guy from the 40s. He seemed to be alright. That was someone interesting. Uh, this guy's not bad. Um, I don't know. Eh. Because I gotta say... I'd love to know your first name. Uh, does this guy hear himself? What? Sorry, you're gonna have to speak up. It's Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. I'm Shu Emiguchi from Sakura. Huh? What's up? That's where I'm transferring to. Oh, convenient. You're kidding. Well, hey, that means it's gotta be destiny. You wanna go get a drink somewhere? I'm good. You can just let me off. I got places to be. Well, I'll drive you. I'll take the train. Really, it's fine. Where am I headed? Take a hint, man. The crosswalk in front of the Shikishima building in Aoi. Hey, Aoi. I know it. Gogyo Street, right? Big commercial district. What, you got a part-time job? Look, you want to make this an interrogation. I'm getting off. Ah. Oh. Okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. The real question, who is best girl? The nurse. Best girl, also the only contender? Well, thanks for the ride, I guess. But your driving sucks, man. Hey, Whoa, uh, hey, yeah, what the hell? You got a boyfriend? Oh, it, hell no. Want one? Oh. Cool. When do you start school? I'm transferring next week. Can't wait. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. Okay. And as with all stories of this caliber, as soon as you fall for someone instantly, that's it. You're done. You're done for life. Which I'm can't really talk because that's exactly what happened to me.
Oh. <laughs> Be cute and a bombshell. Wait a minute. Oh man. Oh man, she's got it all. Holy shit. What the hell? I knew it. That was Ms. Morimura. And this is the Shikishima building. Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? What's our school nurse doing in there? Is that allowed? Judgment Day, last line of defense broken. Why are we here now? We're just jumping around like crazy. The type 98 bipeds. All right, cool. It turned out to be pretty useless in close combat. Wait, pretty? Wish I'd had some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would have been great. Hopefully Kisaragi-san and the others managed to escape. As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. Wait, please, you please. how far we are from that gate. Oh, please. It's too far for us to make it. Please stand up, I need to confirm something. Don't yeah! Damn! Damn! Can you check that 98 over there? Pop the maintenance hatch. We're not out of options yet. That's like... Really on the nose, huh? What the fuck? You really think there's a point in fighting anymore? Well, will I be ashamed of my words and deeds? Is, is like, if the, if the clothes are skin tight enough, can you go into the Sentinel without having to be naked or something? Like, what the hell is this? Not fighting. Escaping. <sighs> right. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So it could be linked to a shifter. It might just get us out of here. I've already input the shift coordinates. You disengage the auto control and switch to manual. Okay, are, are all of her poses like butt facing the camera? <laughs> Where are you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. <laughs> Now it's directly off. I'll see what's, if we can get it out of the down to ninety-eight. What's next? She's bending over. A direct feed, huh? Do you think they knew what they were doing? Nah. Nah. Basically, everything's operational aside from the legs. I, I, my, my read on this right now is that it's not fully operational, so she doesn't need to be naked to move it. But maybe I was right. Maybe you can. Like, like the, if the clothes are tight enough, it's fine. No time left. Can't make it back. You know, it, it turns out that, that that you just need to like just turn turn the sentinel on a little bit, like literally, you know, like arousal wise. And if the clothes are revealing enough and tight enough, and if you know the, the character is attractive enough, they don't need to get naked. They're just like, yeah, this is enough, right? Like, I don't need. Fucking hell. Ago, I'll be on Sumire Bridge. All right. Find me and tell me everything. Okay, I will. Next time, Ida kun I know you'll find a way. Ida kun Miss Morimura. Late night, Shu Amiguchi's apartment. That dream again. Dream. That's definitely not how she usually looks. Yep. I know that was Ms. Morimura. Huh. A 
giant mecca, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Teacher? She's a nurse. Jeez, like a kid who's been watching too much anime. <sighs> but man, I still remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. She's a homeroom home teacher. Oh, so she's a professional babysitter. Okay. And then she's a nurse after that. All right. Huh. Did I leave the TV on? Kind of late for a music show. I feel like I recognize those lyrics, too. All right. Who's going to be on the TV? Oh, she's that new idol. Been getting big lately. Uh-huh. She's just, And she happens to be going to your school. Wait, hold on. It's Yuki. Oh, never mind. Let's turn back on. How did it turn itself back on? Is it broken? Finally. I finally found you. Now it's a drama. Late night TV gets weird. I've been looking for you for so long. Please help me. Amiguchi. Shu Amiguchi. <gasps> You're the only one I can turn to, Shukun. What the heck? Is this a hidden camera thing? Yes. No. This is no TV show. Shukun, I'm talking to you through the TV. Please save me. Miyuki Inaba. Miyuki. All right. You know what? Maybe a story can have too many plots. Calm down, Yuki Chan. We've got May 27. time to all sides here. I don't take orders from you. I gotta find Nachan. Wait, something's coming up. It's a sentinel. Number 22? Number 22, advancing. Two aerial models, which means Amiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Oh, he looks super different now. All right. Uh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Do it yourself. If I don't find Nachan fast. There, I finally got through. Yuki-chan, it's me. Nachan. I'm glad you're safe. Yuki-chan inside that place? Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous. Just hold on. I'm on my way. But No, no, you stay back where it's safe. We got buttloads of kaiju over here. Damn it. Goto, we gotta do something now. Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial dymos called hunters. Great. We got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground-based missiles either. Kinda short on anti-air options here. Amiguchi-kun, just collect the metachips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. Also, we need to unlock those mystery files. How about you guys handle this tech stuff? And I just kick the shit out of her. Cause I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh boy, we all better watch out for her. I don't think I'm late. It's only been four hours. Surely the story is easy enough to recap. Actually, you know what? Surprisingly, oh shit. Surprisingly, a lot has happened. So like, I feel like in terms of, oh shit, there's so much shit here. Whoa. In terms of things happening, um, it's it's been paced quite well. Whether or not that stuff is going to stay interesting is going to have payoff remains to be seen. There's been a couple of slow parts, but it, we're getting through it quickly. 
And my biggest issue with these kinds of games, uh, and by that I mean like the, like the weeb anime games that you guys force me to play, force me, force me to play, uh, is usually one of pacing. They're splitting up. Some of those guys look pretty tough. Okay, there's a lot of them. But as long as we stay cool and stick to the plan... Stick to the plan, chums. These clowns are gonna need more than numbers to take me down. You want a piece of me, shitheads? Come and get it! Next move. People will love Yuki, but hate on, uh, Frey. It's not fair. Does it do more damage if it's um within the uh the white circle? Seems like it. Okay, 45 times 30, 50 times 16. Flare torpedo. Flare torpedo seems kinda shit. Does it have like a, uh, you can just set up ahead of time maybe? Or maybe it's like, um, a, whatchamacallit? It's, uh, it has a debuff or an A, or, or a god attack. Will it do more damage now that it's to your targets? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Seems like it. Okay. Always think ahead. Hit confirmed. That is place. I think we can let one of those go, right? Okay, uh, I think another multi-lock will do it. 900 times 2. Ooh. Alright, that should just kill that then, right? Here you go. How's that? No. Okay, well, whatever. Now, what's optimal? Locked on. Are you enjoying the game? Can't really watch today. Um, if I was playing this on my own, I would continue from this point onward. Yeah, so it's, it's from that perspective, I'm enjoying it. But I'm still not sure where it's going. I, I'm not sure if it's gonna like at the end of this going to be like, oh yeah, cream of the crop or anything. That should kill it. Nice. Your Probably should have defended and got my points back. Thank you, a Pepsi addict, for gifting a sub to Nightbot. Congrats, Nightbot. Aegis activation confirmed. This area's terminal has been shut down. Wow. Did you see that, Yuki chan? Shut down. That UFO must have some unbelievable power. Calm down, Amiguchi. We still gotta meet up with Nachan. Uh, what? Calm down, she says. Like she wasn't the one raging out a second ago. 
Didn't they say saucer before? So they're like aliens that, that, that crashed and we're using their technology against them? Or is there a second race of aliens that are here that are like benevolent aliens and these evil aliens are coming for the benevolent aliens? Like, hmm. All right, who's this? I, Seki Gahara's story is available, okay. Time to run into some girls. 1985. Damn. No way out. Gonna have to call my sentinel. Where'd he go? Wait! You must know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, eh, Sekigahara? Sekigahara? What do you want from me? Oh, you didn't know your name. Cool. Tell me. Uh, guess you have a death wish. Wait. It's because... Of O.C. You came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. Resistance is futile. Surrender now or else. Okay, so this is the Star Trek version of the story now. If you won't answer my questions... Then talking to you is what's futile. Damn. Shoot. <laughs> Another dimension. Could that really be true? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories. They're gone. Oh, we got two amnesiacs. Nice. Alright. This is the other guy from another dimension, right? For sure. I'm right. This this is this is Karabi from another d dimension. This is blonde Karabi. Blonde Juro. He's Judge Juro and Executioner. For sure. Phaser. I should have two or three shots left if I can okay, it is It is Star Trek. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? How would you tell all of your memories would come from the dimension that you're from? So even if you have amnesia, any any basis and point that you're comparing that to would come from the context of the other dimension where that's commonplace. Hey, Seki Gahara. Okay. It's no use. I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. Him and Jero don't look anything like Really? They look really alike to me. I don't know why I'm looking here. I'm not going to be able to see a picture of him. Maybe if I saw them side by side, I'd be like, oh yeah, you're right. They look nothing alike. They look really alike to me. Good. He's still alive. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. How do you know how to do that? The manual has pictures? Oh, I was skipping down. There's different pages. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty much the exact same person. Like, look at this. Almost the exact same person, except, you know, like, different hairstyle and different eyes and different different facial structure. I do see, like, like no joke, I do see some resemblance, but nowhere near what I thought it was from, from before. Yeah. I see a little bit of resemblance, but that could just be the art style. Actually, if you look at the eyes, Shu and Juro kind of have some more similar eyes, right? Like, look at them, like, back to back. Yeah, it's probably just the art style. Who the hell is... Oh, that's the one we haven't seen yet. Bandage Chan? Just who are these guys? Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. 
Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... Some old communication device? It's huge. And the Snickers! All he has left on him is his wallet. Oh, that's for me. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? Borrow. Now, now he kind of looks like the Yakuza guy from Al Simonian Files on the floor, huh? Bet. Regret. A set. Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days, after all. Hang on. This, the designs on these bills look completely different. Hmm. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? Hmm. And these coins are from back in the Showa era. Showa? Showa pair? I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. Uh, okay, I guess you could tell that from, from the thing? Okay. That means his little friends can't be too far. Alright. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. Man, it's almost as big as a VHS tape. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Well, let's go get some soba. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. It's like a fucking epidemic of the shit. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. Maybe you accidentally called your sen sentinel when you weren't supposed to, and that guy popped up and said, <sighs> Sorry, you have to wipe your memory! <laughs> oh, we're going back to it, okay. Alright. Oh, is that the nurse? Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. What is this? Some kind of gun? Why would I have something like this? Oh, I'm American. Everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? I don't even remember my own name. Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? Hey, miss. Are you okay? <sighs> she isn't breathing. No! <gasps> I wonder... What happened here? It's no use. I still can't remember anything. <sighs> Is it possible that I did this? Nah, you both came back from the uh, from from the uh, the future. Wait, hold on, hold on. We were in we were in the the the, the future, and we were we were Amaguchi. And when we were, t and the nurse sent us back, and when we got sent back, it was like the Resident Evil 2 to 3, we got jilled. We, we changed our hair, we got it dyed, we got a haircut, we changed our outfit. There we go. It, there are multiple characters, you know, that are the same ones after all. Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Oh, okay. Based on this evidence. The gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Hmm. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me. Mm. What about the rest of the stuff around you? All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. All right. Amnesia pills? The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. All right. This character is interesting to me so far. There's something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? The note says... 
443-685-3214. What could it mean? What could it mean? <laughs> A password of some sort? She has nothing else on her. She had... There's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID to be specific. And... A key. But to what? That is a huge key. It's a key to a sentinel. There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? This appears to be someone else's student ID. How do you know? Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar, but I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me. Oh, it's almost like the grown-up version of her is dead next to you on the floor. In one way or another. Hmm. Okay. What else is there to look at? ID card again, or...? It's a student ID from Sakura. It appears to belong to a female student. Alright. Iori Fuyusaka, Class 1B. I guess that's where I'm going, then. Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. Okay, let's open There's it. A note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Oh, it is her, and we did kill her. Oh, okay. A note that was included with the... It says, if cap... Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. Shihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. Wait, 31? 31 is 13 backwards. Ooh. Ooh. This is the place. Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Go in the sewer. Do, 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 do. Check down this back alley too. Oh, they've got me surrounded. I need to hide. Quick, the ladder. What a mess. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Thanks. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them more on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transit. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means... I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. After the escape, Katie Riverbed. What do I do now? If I don't get my memories back, what'll happen to me? Hey. All right, this is pretty good. Um. Like visual, it's very bright. All right, I'll be back in five minutes. I'm gonna go pee. Time for another break. It's been another two hours. Probably gonna go for another hour when I get back. So if you've been sitting for the whole time, get up, brush your teeth, walk around, get a drink.
All right, back, sorry. The uh, puppies needed water. So I was gone for like a minute longer than I should have been, I think. All right, we're gonna go for an hour more, I think. So we're at four hours and 11 minutes right now. So we'll go for like five hours, 15 minutes, something like that. Unless we're, if we're in the middle of a chapter, then I will, I will probably end the chapter unless we just started it. Included with the files on Morimura. It says, if Cat did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? Alright, so these seem like variations of what we already saw before. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. Also a teacher. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. Chihiro, Chihiro. The one I found dead. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Okay, so this was... Is this after... The roof? Wait, do we have the wallet? Why do I know how to use this? Yes, so this is after... So so the roof happened between this scene and the scene we were with last time. Okay. A fancy leather wallet. There are a few bills and coins inside. No credit cards, though. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. Man, that's bigger than the nurse's tits. Holy shit. A. Sekigahara. That name doesn't sound familiar, but it apparently belongs to me. Did you need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. What does that mean? Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. I still don't know how they do it, but they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. Is it the robot? I don't understand. Who are you? Do you know me? I'm not here for small talk. Coming here at all was risky enough as it is. Okay. If you've obviously interacted before and him saying that to you should be raising some major red flags to you y yuki so what the fuck are you doing just go get your package all right whatever i don't know do you know me i'm not here coming here at all just go see ya that girl said this belongs to me hello i can't imagine how <laughs> Just know, uh, plan means Keikaku. And I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time, so I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. Uh-oh. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But... But there was an accident. Uh-oh. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I... Well, you are stuck here as well. But don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. Why not? You understand now, don't you? I don't. Nope. If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. Well, this is phenomenally fucking stupid. You have to trust me. Okay, I don't. I only hope you make the right choice. I don't. I don't trust you. No. Oh, 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 time to find a school girl that's in the track team. BJ. BJ. How am I supposed to believe all that? Still, it does line up with what those men in black were saying. First things first. I need to get out of here. If what that girl said is true, then I'm not safe here. 
But Joe, amnesia is real in real life, so you can't really criticize how he's reacting to having amnesia. In real life, someone could prepare a note for themselves and then get amnesia and have this kind of reaction to something they don't want to do, so, like, really, you're the one who's full of shit, aren't you? Number 19, commence movement. How are we suddenly in a sentinel? The scout unit's picking up multiple sentinels. Some are even fighting. Hey, Taro. Holding up all right? Takatoshi-san, so it was you. Oh, yeah, this is uh, jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah, never mind. No matter the war, it's an honor to fight at your side. <laughs> that's not even you. Yeah, that's the, that's the guy that has the bandage feet. But I'm guessing that we're going to show up in the sensible now, the, the guy that we just were, because that's happening in every other scene. Oh. You deployed without permission from the Shikishima facility? Who the fuck is that? It's my sentinel, isn't it? Another sentinel's being transmitted close by. Okay, the fact that they're all naked is just making this super cringe. <laughs> just, <laughs> just how come she gets to keep her bandages? Why is that allowed? Quite a party here. <laughs> I miss an invitation. It's like they're all LARPing in the sauna. Hey guys, just went for a dip. All right, we're in the sauna. Want to continue the, the the kaiju mech RP while we're sitting here getting our sauna on? Like here we go. <laughs> like, what the? Aikun. You came to Sekigahara, and why are you in that sentinel? Yeah, why? As long as it's functional, does it matter? Is it ever going to explain? I didn't come here for more of Sekigahara's flim flam. I'm going back to the front lines. Wait. Stay in position. If any one of us tries to do this alone, we lose any chance we have at victory. I feel like I just didn't understand something that happened there. Fine. So you call the shots. Okay. You're the only one here with command experience. Ooh. We will split into teams individually prioritizing attack and defense. The assault team will include Sekigahara, Shinonome, Karabe, Hijiyama, Miura, and myself. The rest of you will defend the terminal until Aegis activates. Operation Aegis. We're really doing this, huh? We're short on firepower and time. We'll need every trick, every weapon in our arsenal. Right? Victory condition. Activate Aegis or destroy all kaiju. Lost condition. Terminal destroyed or any pilot killed. Um, how do you activate the Aegis? Do you, like... Do you just get people in there and they will like power it up while you're in there? I forget how that happens. Tutorial victory condition. The time remaining until self-defense system just activates. The oh, there it is. Okay, so um, so two minutes. Clear the stage by either protecting the terminal until the system activates or destroying the enemies until their salt ends. Triangle. All right, we can't we can't do that. Whoa, 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 let me, let me use my turns. All right, hold on. Long range missiles. Oh, this one's like a lot. Holy shit. We haven't seen her before. Heavy Knuckles, multi-rocket launchers, Guardian. Places a Guardian in a target area, acts as a decoy, distracting Kaiju. Oh, it's a decoy! It's a decoy, decoy! All right, yeah, come get the decoy. Lol, they're falling for it. Lol, they're stupid. They're so dumb. La Mayo got him. Anti-air defensive flares. Spreads numerous flares in the air, obstructing aerial kaiju and missiles. Demolisher blade. An arm-mounted excavator that slices through kaiju in front. Okay, I think the other guy had that. Rush attack. 
All right, so anti-air defensive flares. Now doesn't really that doesn't really do shit, does it? All right, will this like do AOE damage? It doesn't look like it. This will, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was a that was a bad play. That was a really bad play. All right, long range missiles is probably good for this one. All right, I'm learning a little bit. So you are, so I can interrupt movement if I want to. All right, so arm mounted machine cannons. I think I want to kill these guys here. Uh, you're pretty close, let's do these ones. Is the game challenging? So far, no, not at all. But it, we're in the tutorial still. Like, like actually, like, canonically, like, tutorial is like, been on the screen when we get into these sections. Like, that's how much we're in the tutorial. Don't waste any chances. This guy over here is still alive. Where are they? Number 19. Commence Don't mission. waste any chances. Number 11. Moving out. What? How's the sentinel? I have to focus. Can't don't waste any chances. Okay, will that will that take it out? What next? The practice. I have to, I'll make it work. I guess life comes at you fast. The okay, I can't I can't over. get out the thing, so you just you just stay there. You can go over here. Next move. Number fourteen. Number twenty. Not throwing away my shot. Number nineteen. Commence movement. I'll take them down quick. I'll destroy you. Got that one. Enemy destroyed. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Now there's more. Oh. Okay. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. How many of these terminals are there? Seven? Oh, there's 13! Right. Thank you, 31er335, -er for the new sub. Welcome to the uh, Sentinel Salamanders. Battle, select the battle style that best suits you. This can be changed. Oh, cause so we're done the tutorial. And now we get now we get a difficulty select. Four and a half hours in. Bumps up the battle difficulty. Recommended if you're itching for some ruthless challenge. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Mode selection unlocked. Play through the story in remembrance. Engage in battles and destruction and review events and lore in analysis. What?
Walk along the fragments of the past through the eyes of the 13 protagonists. Look back on the truth that's revealed so far. Control the sentinels and face the crisis head on. So I can do all the story if I want, and then I can do and then I can do all the combat in a row on my own. Oh god. Alright, what's analysis? Oh, this is just this bullshit. Alright, so I've already done 20% of the battles. Alright, that makes me feel pretty good about myself. Alright, so if I do this right, can I like get menu of select what I want to do? New area has been unlocked. Alright, so this is and I can change the um I can change the difficulty. Okay, so this is Ashi Taba Ashi Taba City Battle 1, and there's all these, and then and then I can go over to the adventure. Protagonist selection unlocked. Remembrance stories diverge based on the actions you take. Do they seek out new paths to reveal more of the story? What do you mean? The runaway suffering from memory loss, I Siki Gahara learned about the truth of the world from his past self. A track uh, star athlete with memory loss trying to figure out how the future uh, came to be. A guy from 1984 with memory loss is uh, trying to get past to, back to his own timeline. A rich guy with a lot of video games with memory loss doesn't realize how he's actually from the future and was hanging out with a super hot nurse teacher. A guy with memory loss who thinks he's one guy but he's actually another guy. A girl with memory loss who thi- Okay, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... So we only have... We only have 7 right now, right? Yeah, we only have 7 to do. Hmm. Destruction first area, first area, Ashitaba City Wave 2 cleared, currently cleared up to the beginning of end of wave 7. Alright, so I have to do that. Uh, complete Nenji Ogata's Victims of Poison event. What the fuck? Okay, so this is who it put me on. Chart. Okay, so we should continue with I, or we should go back over to Juro. I feel like it started me with I, so let's let's do I. Okay. But that was the default one I got here, so let's do I. Looks like I've lost them for now. Consider my next moves carefully. Flowchart. Open the flowchart with Square to view the protagonist's story paths. You can resume a story from events with blue checkpoints. Uh, I'm sorry. Is this a fucking David Cage game? What the fuck are you talking about? Where's Ralph? So I'm from another world. I said so in that message to myself. I must have still had my memories when I left it. Yeah, but what if you're lying to yourself? You never asked. What if you get another message that, and it's just you, like pointing at the camera, going "Lama yo got him." Also said something about a way to escape this world. <sighs> this world is imperfect. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, "If capture, did I kill her?" Details about the dead Mochihiro Mori Sakura. Isn't that where the ID? Okay, we we heard all this already. High school. She definitely looks familiar, but from where? Why can't I remember? The note says four four three six eight five. What could it mean? The notes four four. What could it mean? What could it mean? Why are you still green? You're you're. I thought it was exhausted when it was red. These are still green. Maybe if I find this. Oh, there you go. person, I'll finally remember something. Come in. Are you there? I'm not letting the wheel decide, chat. I'm not letting the wheel decide. I know you can hear me, Sekigahara. The note says four. What could it mean? The notes four. What could it mean? The I'll note says up. four. Four. What could it mean? There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key. 
I'm not your enemy. NM C02. The bottle's made of plastic. As long as it's set to stun, it won't. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use it? Don't be a fool. There you are. I take it you've seen the recording, then. <laughs> <laughs> you know about that! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Just a friend who's trying to help out. Okay. A friend? I didn't expect you to be so... thorough. Regardless, you handled the Moribura assignment well. So you're the one who wrote those instructions. I... can't remember anything. That's exactly why I've contacted you. Listen. It's not safe out there. Don't trust anyone. Not even yourself. Anyone? Including you? Yeah, don't trust me. So that means I should trust people, including you. Yeah. Better to be too careful than too careless. Otherwise, you'll never escape from this world. Escape? In the meantime, just stay put and don't go far. I'll see what I can do about your pursuers. You'll hear from me again soon. In my swimsuit. Disconnected. Yeah, why is this still green? The note said, for, what could it mean? Do I have to look at something else and then go back to it, maybe? trust anyone. Huh? He mentioned an escape. Like I did in that message to myself. Should I really just wait for him to contact me again? No. He said not to trust anyone. And that includes him. <laughs> What could it mean? Both the victim and the owner of this ID card. They're from Sakura High School. Maybe this female student knows something I don't. Yes, let's go to the female student and talk to her. Fuck it, yeah, let, let's Once do it. Day breaks, yep. I'll pay a visit to the school. Oh wait, she's the one that we ran into, and that's how we do it. Ah. Oh, here we go, we get to see it! From his perspective. Oh man. Sounds like school just started. I'm so late. We gonna see the panties again? Uh, crap. I need to drop by the track room first. What's on your face? Hmm. No sign of her. Oh, there's the cat. Let's talk to the cat. Wait, where's the toast in her mouth? Akon. Oh, this is like... He was already here? Wait, what the fuck? Iori... Fuyusaka. What is this virgin walk, huh? What, what? <laughs> oh man, all right, what do we got? Communication, right? An updated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. Chihiro Morimura, a key member of Sheep the Wanna. I haven't seen you in days. I couldn't stop thinking about you. But now? Wait. I'm Wait, just what? relieved to see her safe. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yori Fuyusaka has been that. It seems like we're close. Very close. But. No, we're not. This is the second time you've ever met. I can't trust anyone. Because <laughs> the guy on the receiver told me not to. <laughs> For now, I'll act like I remember her. I want to hear what she has to say first. I'm gonna pretend to date a high schooler as a joke just just to see what what happens you don't un understand officer I'm I have amnesia this belong to you oh that's my student ID I thought I'd lost it but I'm glad you were there to find it for me thank you is something wrong? Uh, Is 
some. Uh. Iori, was there something you wanted to tell me? Oh yeah, so much. Huh? Well, like I said before, I still like you, even if it is one-sided. Whoa. Uh. Chihiro Morimura, she's the school nurse here, right? Huh? Yeah, she is. Oh, you like her instead? What about her? <sighs> what if... <sighs> Ever since that day, she hasn't come back to school. Could something have happened? Which day? The day I heard about Miss Morimura's secret. What's her secret? <sighs> I'm sure she's fine. She's dead. Uh, uh, never mind. Do these pills belong to you? Pills? No, those aren't mine. Wait, aren't those the pills you've been taking? Oh, my mistake. These are mine. Oh, they're not amnesia pills. They're amnesia cure pills. And we ran out and then we can't remember now. We need more pills. What are they for? Are you sick? I'm fine. It's nothing to worry about. Morimura's secret. We must accept our fate. Huh? <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Do you see them too? It's okay. He's gone. <laughs> okay, you do see them too. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh, so's the cat. This is how I feel trying to wrap my head around what's going on in this game so far. Oh, what? Like, just feels like, like everyone gets their own fucking movie, and it's just like, whatever they're obsessed with is what turned into their own story in this one. What the fuck is going on? Oh no! My first class is about to start. <coughs> what will you do now, Akun? I'm gonna pay a visit to the nurse's office. But those men, won't they be on campus too? Why don't you meet me here after school's out? I'll show you where to go. All right. I'll see you later. I wonder if, um, uh, Owie got an Owie on her face in the future and then the robot brought, brought her back and then she decided the next day she better go to school. I wonder if that's what's going on there. I thought I was checking out the nurse's office. No? Oh, she gonna, she's gonna find me. Never mind. Who the fuck is that? I can't remember the character's name, so I'm calling her Owie. Uh... Natsuno Minami. The one who got a BJ. We must accept our fate. That's what Chihiro Morimura said. It's hazy, but I think I remember. Twenty sixty four flashback before the Kaiju so invasion. This is where you've been. I figured I'd give the area an advanced survey. And give everyone a show. What the fuck? Quite the view. Worth taking in one last time. <laughs> and, the, and the city skyline looks wonderful as well. 
Can someone draw an arrow from his eyes? Please. <laughs> right. Right. I expect there to be considerable damage. Oh, yeah. We weren't prepared for them in Sector 1. There was nothing we could do. But not this time. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sentinels. Oh, that's more than 13. And we've had positive results in our battle simulations. That won't mean much if our enemies have evolved. It seems our victory ultimately depends on luck. So let's assume we're met with the worst case scenario. If we fail this time, we'll perform another loop. Okay, that's what I figured was going on, yeah. So so they keep they keep looping and and trying to develop technology to fight back against the kaiju but it seems like the kaiju are also evolving because he just said that if the enemies evolve so they can also kind of loop so they, they're stuck in kind of like an endless battle of like like maybe if if the humans ever get better then the kaiju get to loop as well like something like that i wonder if it's the same technology that's allowing them to do it okay and we'll start over from the very beginning yeah but they 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 can too so what's the end game here then maybe there isn't one will have a greater chance of success that way. I guess the only the only way there could ever be an end game is if if you start to negotiate instead. So they should be working on like that instead of fighting. Even if it means leaving this world behind. This world. No. No more running away. If we don't settle this here. Oh, maybe there are limited worlds they can do it in. Hmm. Then I'm initiating Operation Aegis. So you intend to close the loop then? Uh-oh. If you do, no one will be able to leave. At the very least, we'll survive. You expect us to grow old and die in this godforsaken place. When that time comes, we must accept our fate. In any case... Yes. If we win now, we can avoid such an outcome. Then we'll finally be able to leave this world and... <sighs> My god, she actually does have a front-facing art in, in this outfit. What the hell is she... It's zipped down a bit to reveal her bra? What is she doing? What is it, this obsession that, that anime games have with the cat suit not being done up all the way? Big Kojima reference. Do, do, do. Anyway, uh, while this is on the screen, let's take a moment to say thank you to CDM6 for the new sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ziswil, for the resub. Hopefully that's correct. Thank you, True Lacomo, for the resub as well. And Evil MT for also a resub. Oh, Berserk Lover, 69.6. How does that work? Has, has uh, subscribed for the first time. Welcome, Berserk Lover. Big fan of Dark Souls 2, I'm guessing. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. I don't know who you people are or where you came from. And frankly, I don't care. Just as long as you can defend my city from the kaiju. Without retreating, that is. You'll be the one in the Sentinel protecting the city. We're counting on you. Whoa! What? Holy shit! Well? Like, she, she has a whole parallax! Like, what the hell? I assume you have some questions for me. No, I don't. There's something I need to confer. If I keep my end of the bargain, 
Then you're gonna stop using Ryoko-senpai, right? Please understand, I never had any intention of using her. Uh-oh, anime flashing glasses. But I'll try to be more careful going forward. Something else? As a matter of fact... For the Sentinels you want command over, you require third generation machines, right? Correct. Then I'll update their systems as promised. Though I have to ask, why are you having me do this? Is that the guy's voice that we heard on the uh, on the receiver? I think it is, isn't it? Wouldn't it be faster to go directly through Morimura? I believe a shift in the chain of command is in order. Almost certainly, I think, yeah. And I'd like it to be done without her knowledge. Depending on how the situation unfolds, there's a possibility she may resort to drastic measures. Is that what she was just talking about? This... Operation Aegis? Oh, he's mad. <laughs> That's right. Close the loop. What are they talking about? Are they planning on abandoning the city? No. I can't let that happen. I need more details on this so-called operation. Close the... Operation Aegis. What is its purpose? The enemy's main target is the underground mainframe. Each terminal is equipped with a self-defense protocol. Okay, why though? I'm really curious why. They're not here to kill us, they're here to kill the mainframe? However, the enemy's attacks seem to bypass it. Okay, it's not some bullshit like the Earth is actually one gigantic fucking computer or something, is it? So the moment they strike... And the Loch Ness Monster is in on it? We'll hack the terminal. This will activate the defense protocol. The Aegis system. Isn't that a good thing? Not exactly. Doing so will render our time machine useless. And that means Useless. we can never start over again. What's so bad about that? It doesn't matter as long as we succeed, right? Time will cease to flow in this world. When it does, everything will descend into chaos. Chaos. And in the end, we'll be the only ones left behind in this hellscape. Unless we time machine back. Although, I don't understand how the time machine works really, so maybe that's not possible. I mean, like, did you really all time machine and as far back as you went was 1944? Like, th you must have went further back than that and set some shit up, right? Maybe you can only go back a certain amount? Hmm. What are the rules? <sighs> Wait, Joe, go back. What the fuck did he just say? Oh, we're done. Oh, we got some meta chips. Nice. Complete Natsu Natsuno Minami's Exterminator event. All right, can I go, can I see the chart? Oh, so there, there were there were no choices in this one. Hold on, I wanna go back to this one, please? No? Why can't I jump back? Do I need to go, do I need to do it first? Event archive. It doesn't work like that. This is not the event archive, is it? This is the mystery file. How do I get to the event archive? Usually I got there by pressing start. R2? R2 is mystery files. Oh, I go back in here and now I get back here. Okay, sorry. I thought, th I thought there was slip between them. Alright, so... I want to go to I. Okay, why did you want me to come here? You wanted to replay? Oh, I replay through here. Okay, sorry. I thought I, I didn't realize this is how I replay. All right, so how do I get to Love at First Sight? Are these in chronological order?
Oh, I don't want to be here. This isn't where I wanted to go. Near the one at the top is what you want? Okay. It's near the top. I want the one where he's standing on the street. No, I don't want this one. I want the one where he's standing on the street before he gets the call from from the the person on the end of the receiver. I wanna see what happens if I choose. I don't I don't wanna to go to the school. Okay, I can't do that. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Uh, what do we want to do? We're almost at time. I think we have time for one more story one. Alright, I think I want to do... You know what? We just did, um, we just did his and she was in it, so let's do hers. <laughs> Say the line, Yori. We start with Yori, we'll end with Yori. About that cat. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Cute guy. <laughs> Cute guy. Someone chance my good friend. She's gentle, kind. Maybe someone is feeding oh, them. Oh, that's it. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. And she's kind of weird. Okay. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? Okay, so Sawatari, we don't have any real information on right now. Like, her big reveal hasn't happened yet, I guess. Or she has none because she's just a waste of space. Uh, whereas this other one is from... She's from the future. She's from 40 years in the future than where we are now. Man, wasn't it still kind of like kind of grayscale back in the 80s? Like, it wasn't this 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 bright back in the 80s, I remember. Must have taken off already. I was there. You wanted to go to the record store, right? Yeah. Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? We do, actually. He looks a bit like Amikuchi kun. Ooh. So Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sunny Pun. About Amiguchi kun. I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. He's good at everything. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yori-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Say the line, Yori-chan. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yori-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Okay, go home, Paimon. You're drunk. Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? Yeah, it works, though. So. Oh, me. Now, where were we? <gasps> hmm. Even just watching from afar. Hmm. How do I... Oh. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. That okay. kitty. Do I have to like... The same one I saw at school? Do I have to slowly approach the cat? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yori-chan? Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. 
so many stray cats around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. And I think it's the same one I saw at school. I think it's. Aha! What were you? Wait, wait. That kitty. have taken off already I don't see it must have Didn't it <gasps> I don't see it must have taken off already all right let's just fucking go cats around here Maybe Let's just go. Is... I'm done. After this, you wanted to go to Yeah, you must well in the look so man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. Alright, you're back. Alright, you're back. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan Even just watching from afar. Oh, it's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Mm, how do I? <sighs> Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Moro walks in? What am I supposed to do? Did you see that? It was like... I don't see it. Must have... After that, you wanted to... Yeah, you must really... Well, it's... Man, there's not even <gasps> one you might like. Or I'm, he I'm here! Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was like... You wanted to yes, you must what it's man, all the guys at oh, school there's not even one you might like. Did you see that Usami-chan? Okay, I don't I don't I legitimately don't know what to do. I don't must have Alright. Maybe you like to, I, I see that, right? So and then I talk to them man, about the cat, all maybe. Alright, we're boys, boys, boys. Cat is there. Alright. You should do it. Alright, there we go. Confessions take a look. All right, we did this already. Romance aside, All right, we're talking to Tommy now. I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. All right. Let's do it. Fuck you, Tommy. No. I don't know. Can we finish this conversation first? Seriously? Mm. No. Where were we? Oh, right. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Have you seen how... Romance... I'm still... Let's... Yeah. Want to grab food? I, I want to grab. Go back to that one I want to grab the cat. Their stuff was pretty good. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants in town. <gasps> no, it's not gonna work. I love somehow. That's the magic of high school life. But seriously. I'm starving. Me Let me talk to you. I'd love to go back to that one place. Let me talk to you. Their stuff was. All right, I'm gonna go get the cat. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants in town. Oh, Fuck. Yeah. All right. I don't see it. Now I have to talk to you. All right. Step one: talk so to Miwako. After you talk to Miwako, so fucking, man, fucking talk to, so fucking suck. talk to Tomi. No, talk Maybe to Miwako again. Come. Now talk to Tomi. About food. All right, around to side. Let's do it. All right, now talk to you again. Let's get sweet. Oh, I'd like some soft serve. I'd rather have crepes. What is it about this crepes? Let's let Yori-chan decide. All right. Uh, soft serve. All right, is the cat there? Cat's gone. Which do you want? I want. I want soft serve. However, we've like they've been foreshadowing crepes this whole time. Let's do crepes. I agree with Usami Chan. Crepes sound good right now. All right. Then that's that. Let's go. Okay. What was the whole thing with the cat?
Oh, did we have to get ice cream to lure the cat back? Oh, if it doesn't work, you know what? I decided I want soft serve too. You didn't get your usual chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum. Yeah, where are they finding these? Did you Let's just see. eat five strawberries in one bite? How is it? Mmm. So many strawberries. Crispy edges. Lots of cream. Cream of the crop. You know, what if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey, cats can't have crepes. I actually have cat treats with me. Well, why didn't you say so? If you want to feed him, give him those. So you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. Thanks, Miwa-chan. I'd love to go back to that one place. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori, are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? Oh yeah, we're gonna start holding hands. It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Miwa-chan, you should do it. Let's see. Now talk to the cat? All right. Now I'm going to talk to the cat treats. Can I call out cat treats? Hey. Hey. Miwa chan over here. Oh, one moment. I'll get the treats. Why was this so hard? He's not even a real cat. He ate the whole thing. And they're very similar, but the one at school looks slightly different. Oh, for fuck's sake, decoy cat! So there's more than one. Oh, unless they're decoys. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe. Oh, you saw that? You'll understand what when you get the cat ending. Permanently ban this chatter for 20 minutes, please. Talking to him about it was <laughs> it's only eight ten AM. Behold, Yori Fuyusaka, genuine morning person. I'm early. It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. Oh, look, she's so happy. Her eyes are closed. Blushy, crushy. Do 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 Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. All right. How many how many cats are there? Are, they, are those the real sentinels? Maybe they're siblings. Maybe they're like like monitoring robots, surveillance robot cats. Cats aren't real, just like birds. Are. Oh, there's a bird. Birds aren't real either. Kurabe-kun. Uh huh. Do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? UFO? It's not Yuri. really... 
Morning. It's not really a UFO if it's buried in the fucking ground now, is it, love? Like, it's it's just it's just an alien ship at that point. It's not a UFO if it's not fucking flying now, is it, love? Osami-chan. Yeah, it's just a UO, yeah, it's just a UO at that point. Good morning. What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um, just looking at a cat. Uh, huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? About the cat. Uh, okay. Megumi? Megumi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cute guy. Every day I have strange recall. <laughs> Memory of a dream. Three hundred meters underground spaceship ruins. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Why can I move so fast? Is this a dungeon? What? The <laughs> Oh, I can't move fast anymore. Okay. Juro. We just here with oh, your fucking gaming laptop? I was worried with you all by yourself. Maybe this is the real world and where we're talking at school is the dream. If something were to happen to you, I Juro, stop. Oh, do they, are they uh, uh, like partners here? Couple? <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way. But I don't like you. But I can't think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But listen, when this is all over... Well, I get some crap ace? I'll talk to you again. Promise. Who the fuck are you? There it is again. Oh, I know who you are. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. <laughs> the tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. So you remember. I'm so sorry about your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. Hmm. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. Uh oh. This is going to take at least another three more. That's unusually dense. It's like a Bitcoin. Still, the system's logical structure, it's not so far off from our own. Was Okinokun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. No, they're just humans that went really far back in time and set this all up. Like, are you guys dumb? Come on. Come on. Then again, why wouldn't they, like, just, like, I don't know, like, make that clear? You never asked? <laughs> Wait, so we went back in time and set all this technology up so they could use it to fight the aliens in the future, right? Because we died. Yep, that's right. That's what we did. So shouldn't we make it clear that we were humans and left us here so they could know how to use it? Well, did they ask us to do that? No, they didn't. Well, then why the fuck would we do that then? Uh, that's a good point, right? Let's just leave it. They'll just find it. It'll all work out. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. Mm-hmm. Looks like a time machine. If you asked me for my best guess... It's a teleporter. I'd say it's a transmission device. Yeah. In other words, a teleporter. Yeah, I too have watched Star Trek. That's the only reason I think that, is from watching media. Okay, is this, is this story just like... Love of media has morbed into reality or something? Don't give me that look. Hear me out. All right. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Mm-hmm. Transmission of matter isn't possible. 
That's what our science says. But other science has different rules. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. I mean, we kind of can, though. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Oh, we don't know if aliens exist or not, Weebs. What now? You can't fall off that. You can fall back to that old chestnut. What now? Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Uh, oh. Guys, come take a look at this. Whoa. Is there someone off camera? The analysis took some time, but I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. Mm hmm It looks like a giant saucer. It's not, though. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. <sighs> Source dude, just trust me? Buried UFO has been added to the thought cloud. meters from the surface oh, this facility is huge how could it have never been discovered it's not likely rather it may have been intentionally hidden Ooh. a government cover-up of alien life sounds like a movie from the 20th century yeah all of this does those monsters on the surface are they trying to unearth this ufo just what are they after may have something to do with this. <laughs> it's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. <laughs> All right, what the fuck is that? What does it look like to you? A countdown? This is... A countdown? Yeah. It started when the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Yeah. What if I sit here and let it go all the way down? Since then, the clock's been ticking. Signal has been added to the thought cloud. If this was a Kojima game, if you stayed here for the whole thing, the credits would roll at the end. We should investigate further. This may not be appropriate, but I'm honestly excited. This sort of alien technology? I can hardly believe it. What do you think? I think that the ending of this is going to be phenomenally fucking stupid. I just, like, I'm having so many, like, dreadful thoughts. <laughs> like, like, right now I'm looking at this and I'm like, my brain is going, alright, so, clearly this must be, it's not must be, my, like, it feels really right that this is set up like, oh, ancient civilization, like, no, this is set up by, like, humans that went so far back in time that they set this up in the future because they didn't want to mess up the timeline that they, that they knew, but also they wanted to plant something that would be able to prevent some future catastrophe, but then my brain goes, but then the, but then the aliens have that technology too, so what are they doing, and then my mind immediately went to, but you don't understand, the, the humans that went back in time, they recreated the aliens as well, just to make, <laughs> Just to make sure nothing gets messed up with the timeline, you know, like, it's just, it's like that's how fucking stupid it is, you know, like, all right, it's a signal, let's go. So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might launch? Yes. Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what ifs. We need to find out what's going on. This, uh, this voice actor sounds so familiar to me. Have they been in another game that we played?
Okay, so that was it. I can't see it. Close results. Fi is it Fi? Ah, that's where it is. Okay. Oh, if we eat ice cream. All right, I want to go back and eat the ice cream. Okay, so if there is another choice, it shows up. All right, so if you if you eat the ice cream, like what happens? Something else, you go somewhere else instead? Why is this blue instead of orange like the rest of them? That one is also blue. Is it blue because you can continue somewhere else afterwards or? You can go, uh, you can go back to blue. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. All right, so we are above time. Um, so let me just uh, give some give some thoughts before we uh, before we go off. Um, so so far, I really like this. This is really cool. Um, so this is pretty rare amongst video games. Uh, this is structured very much like a book. Uh, so in a in in a, in a, in a even that it would be quite a, an ambitious long book. So. Um, it's really really rare in a video game to have more than one perspective it's not unheard of it's not unique but it's pretty rare to have more than one perspective especially if it's a playable perspective it's pretty rare that that, that games do that um it's it's even more rare to have this many perspectives it's also so a lot rarer to have so many interlining perspective uh intertwining um uh perspective scenes and stuff and stories and everything like that too so this is this is set up very much like a book to me and it's like okay so first chapter is this character's chapter and then we go on to the next character's chapter and then we go on to the next character's chapter and the next character's chapter and then we we see a different a different piece from someone else's perspective then we go to the other character's chapter and then everyone gets their turn and then we loop over and maybe one character will have like three chapters in a row and then they'll go over to this character now this can this can be pretty bad once you get into like book five of the series and maybe like there's like three perspective characters that you really love that like aren't even in that book because the author has gotten bo so bogged down uh, with uh, with the characters that needed stories for that one and wanted to focus on them. Uh, but for the most part, I usually like that style, style of storytelling, um, and I um, don't see it very often in in games. Uh, the art is absolutely gorgeous. I really like the art a lot. Uh, the voice acting is pretty good. The dialogue writing is probably the weakest part of the story so far. Um, I have no idea what's going on, although my brain is like on, on fire trying to like compute everything that, that's going on. Um, that's why I'm just like like shotgunning out questions because my brain keeps jumping all over the place. I feel like there's definitely some something like fucky going on with, with the school. Like... Like, some, something about that isn't real. I don't know what, but something really fucky is going on in the school. Um, I don't know why we just called the nurse. Like, I joke that like, that she grows up to be the nurse. Maybe she does. Maybe this is it. But why does she not know her name? Maybe, maybe like, it's a different, like, false identity implanted or whatever. Maybe she's not even Iori. I have no idea. But, like, we'll see how it goes. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Art is, art is gorgeous. Um, I'm enjoying all the different perspectives structurally and, and how it's a non-linear narrative. I love this shit. Um, I re I'm really, really engaged with that kind of storytelling. Um, I thought it was paced quite well. A lot of things happened to multiple different characters. And I gotta give the game credit as well. Like beginnings are really hard to do chat they're like um a lot of people struggle with beginnings more than anything else and the fact that this this game had how many perspective characters have we seen so far uh in the prologue was it was it 10 11 it wasn't 13 full 13 because we haven't seen a, a perspective with one character yet um but it, it was quite a lot and those those were like hey beginning 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 and beginnings are so hard to do that um that i'm really impressed with how how many um like like decent to good beginnings i don't think anyone's beginning was bad except for maybe the owie character just because she's so fucking stupid but i kind of feel like maybe th that's intentional and we'll see how how um if they play off the fact that she's kind of dumb like the Aoi character I'm talking about is, is 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 this one. Like the fact that she thinks that oh she she's in her own version of ET movie. Like we'll we'll see how how it goes. Um yeah, so so that's that. Um like I said the dialogue is probably the on the weaker side. I don't think there's any standout character that I'm like, "Oh my god, I love this character. Holy shit." Like like Junae to me, like Nagito and Junae are the two standout examples of like, "Did I love Nagito instantly?" I think Nagito took a little while to come out of his shell, but Junae I loved almost immediately. Um like these are characters like like York, 
um, like, uh, like Kiru. These are characters that I just, like, just immediately just, like, jump toward. I'm like, I love this character. I want the, I'm, I'm excited when they're on the screen. There is no character like this that, that I feel like this in the story. There's no character I'm like, oh, shit, great, they're on the screen. Um, but there's no character so far that I'm like, oh, shit, they're on the screen. Except for maybe, like, um... Her white-haired friend just seems like a complete waste of time to me. I get really big, like, like Himiko vibes from her white-haired friend. I don't. Th that's probably the weakest character. So I, I don't even remember Megami's friend's name. You know, um, she's not great either herself. But her name is Megami, which is hilarious. So there's no character I outright like standout character that I'm like, oh my god, I love this person. But there's no one I hate either, except for the nurse, obviously, because the nurse is fucking. You know, like, there are five or six reasons to, to really enjoy the nurse um so that's that uh so yeah i i'm uh, i'm really enjoying it so far i'm really engaged i'm looking forward to playing it some more tomorrow i don't know where it's gonna go in terms of the story i don't know if it's gonna have a good payoff but structurally i, I think i'm gonna enjoy it no matter what i think it's pretty i'm not gonna say ambitious because books do the shit all the time and so do tv shows it's ambitious for video games that sounds like a backhanded compliment and it is <laughs> Which is why it sounds like one, but like at the same time, like we need to have like like games are hard to make, and maybe you know, um, we we need to like be cool with maybe some execution failing a little bit just to see how the structure works in 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 a game, you know, like. Uh, but I am quite enjoying it, so it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. A quick thank you to Coke Monster for the resub before I go, and I think I said thank you to everyone. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, it was a pretty good turnout with your with your ship. I think we stayed above 2,000 the whole time. We're still above 2,000 right now, actually. If I put the wheel back, I wonder what we would get to. Um, so I will uh, see you tomorrow. We're going to do fan out tomorrow, and then we're going to get back into it. And um, we'll probably be 13 Sentinels all week. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be playing Atomic Heart on on Saturday. I might I might pick a different game instead. I'm, I'm looking into some things about Atomic Heart. Um, a quick... Uh, I should have done this at the beginning of the stream, but I forgot. I'll probably do it again tomorrow as well. Um, the elephant saxophone emotes, I received a, I want to do one from Anu, Zostorin, Jelly, Maddie, Sam uh, and Unintellectual, Vixit, MNS, Merrick, Cafe, and K. Although Merrick, Cafe, and K didn't DM me, they just made an emote and posted it in the, in the Stream Art Museum. Um, if, if that wasn't a proposal, you don't want to be a part of the bit, you can DM me and tell me, but if, if not, like, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, like, um, I'm going to be commissioning an emote from, from each of you, and then we're going to do a vote it, vote it on them, and we'll see which one gets to be, uh, on the stream. Um, and maybe we will, um, we'll cycle them out or something. I don't know. It might be fun, but we'll see how it goes. But if you, uh, if you... I, I DM you. Oh, did you did you DM me? Uh, if you have not DM'd me, uh, it's too late. If you DM'd me and you were not on that list, that means I missed your DM, which means DM me again and we can talk. But if you haven't DM me, it's already too late. I will repeat this tomorrow um, when we uh, when we start and do fan art. Title screen song. Yeah, can can we get back to the title screen? I can save it, right? What time do you start tomorrow? Same state, yeah. Okay, what was my hit rate on trying to guess the characterization of each of these from their silhouettes from behind? I think I had like a 50 50. I have to go back and check. Anyway, see you tomorrow, chat. Hope you have fun. Wait, hold on. Backseat is live still. Do we want to go raid backseat?
Let's do it. Oh, he's playing Pizza Tower. Oh, the, the damage I am inflicting on, on backseat right now. All right, enjoy. Have fun, behave yourselves.